Alright, well today we are gonna be continuing this adventure, I guess you could call it. Um, and we'll we'll see how far we're gonna get. We'll see how many people die, how much the science we discover, and how many aircraft we can actually shoot down. Um hey there guys, how you doing? All by all, I think we've been doing pretty well. Um, but then again, last month around, I think we burned through like 2k cash, so, uh, 2 million cash. And we're left with 5k, so I'm not entirely certain, but we'll see. At least we have some significant things on the way, such as an X, there is nothing significant about an extractor. Research wise, we're doing pretty fine. We're manufacturing lots of, uh, lots of Chateau de, Ma uh, de la Mort. Don't be surprised about the 1.6 million. There is no way we're going to be able to produce all of that. Because we only can produce 36 more units. Yes, we are still alive, believe it or not. Um, I mean, it's very easy to believe. I haven't, uh, haven't killed myself yet. Wasn't there like a mission that showed up? Uh, the Haunted Forest, right. Um, I can't really go there. Uh, so what I did learn is that the Ninja Airbase is, after all, in the Hidden Expanse. I was completely incorrect about it being above the Confederation. It's inside the Hidden Expanse. One thing that I could try and do is fly over it. This thing has a rate of 200, the airspeed is in a rate of 300, and I do believe the Airbus only has 100. So if we send out the air car, just somewhat close by i think this might already be too close by no free animal cages at adventure island wait how did this happen oh all right well that explains a bit i uh, will be selling a giant rat some of the other things we're gonna have to take care of whoa 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 get back here it's all about the side distance at the moment bingo and there's the enemy hideout, Ninja Airfield Assault. The Sky Ninja's base is protected by dangerous anti-air defenses, so we must approach it on foot across an open field. It's gonna be a shooting gallery. And we're the target, so we better deploy some countermeasures. Thankfully, we didn't detect any heavy artillery emplacements. Wait, what? Alright. So this is all I need to know, really. This is somewhere I do not want to go. That being said, yeah, um, I kind of want to check out the haunted for forest. I know I'm going to regret this. I know people are going to die, but I'd like to check it out. I know people... Okay, actually, I take it back. I don't think I'm going to check it out. Uh, I do not want to bring any Lochnar for one very obvious reason, and that is that I think they might be able to insta-kill Lochnar's. Also, I'd have to do it during daytime. We can actually bring three peasants, but then we're bringing a bunch of people to a shooting gallery. If you were wondering how is it possible we, run, we are running low on gals, well, haha, haha, ha, let me show you a little neat trick on how to do that. MAA training, I think that's martial arts training. Ooh, recovery time 21 days. Anyways, uh, neat little trick, it's called kill most of the girls that you tend to get. Uh, we've been, ch like, before we were actually going through a bunch of peasants, which wasn't too bad, but the girl casualties has been going up quite significantly. Let's not talk about the Lognars, that's been quite unfortunate, all things considered. Alright, socializing. We go out to meet with various friendly and neutral characters. This takes some time. Hard brain or oh, this takes some hard brain or work, but allows us to avoid misunderstandings and infamy hits. Should we take them all hostage? <laughs> ah, nice. What well, is cigar El Comandante? It leads to civilization. Hmm. Anyways, I think there's a lot better research that we can actually research at the moment, which I probably should start working on. One of them being the um self charging laser pistol. Uh, the, the, obviously the laser pistol, because that leads me to... Pa, 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 Hassan's most demanding customer. Wait, no. That also sound right. Advanced weapons rumors. No, no, no. 
you're, you're misunderstanding their blessed. Learning about Cuba teaches us about civilization. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I need advanced weapons rumors because that is one of the prerequisitions to Crazy Hana. Uh, we're also working on uh, improvised aerial explosives, so that is two for two. And then we have the Trader's Guild and the Light Machine Gun. So, yeah, as long as we can't actually get the Light Machine Gun and the Trader's Guild, there's no point in really doing that. I think. We need to do more interrogations. Wait, what? But well, we've already done socializing. Is this a repeating research? That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. So we can also do animal taming, which allows us to tame some of the animals we managed to capture. Alright, you know what to say, when in doubt, just pick something. I'm in very much doubt at the moment. By the way, what actually does require light machine guns? Just out of curiosity, I think it's just a light machine gun altogether. Ah, uh, do 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 light machine gun, yeah, that's an actual item. It's really difficult because I know there is some research that I should be avoiding as long as possible. Uh, to get the best result out of it. Like, Old Earth Books is nice, but if I accidentally pick up... I don't know... A Warhammer or Catpult, why why would I pick this up? Oh, well... I guess. I guess. That makes kind of sense. Um, how about we pick up... This is just gonna be like a stream of me spending 15 minutes in the research screen deciding what to research. Only to research something that lasts like three days. Ooh. Ooh. Mecha suit. Color me impressed. Color me very much impressed. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go with the Siren Security. Uh. Hi. Okay. Uh, so another thing that is very important... Jesus Christ, the thing is quick! Holy crap! Another thing to really think about at this point is, and it's gone... What else would I need to create? What else do I need to uh, manufacture? So, one of the things we would love to do is some additional bug haunts... Do, do I actually want to make the uh, little bird? Isn't the little bird pretty crappy? I know that what I'm saying is quite controversial, but isn't the little bird actually pretty shit? <laughs> uh, the more often I name it, the worse it becomes, isn't it? Uh, little bird. Max speed of 350, crew of 6, max range, but this thing can have a bunch of guns attached to it. Yeah, I think I actually might just want to assemble the little bird and sell it. Oh, that is true. It can kill those ground vehicles. But it would require an additional hangar. Hmm. It would require an additional hangar. Um, ba ba ba. That's 200k. For now it's fine. For now it's fine. I can ignore it for now. Now we have skill mill, uh, which I wasn't too interested in just yet. Poison arrows is nice, but poison arrows is nice, but yeah, it's like a little thought just went through my head, and immediately everything just shut down. My brain knocked right on out of there. What about the ballista? I've heard some really cool things about ballistas. But I think they're pretty crap. Ooh, 
Well, I guess I can open up a money purse or two. Anything else that particularly stands out to me that I'd love to get? I don't think so. We can get a bunch of prizes, but I don't particularly care about it. Redeem an execution token. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, we can get some Yushankas, but I think currently we have six of them already, so we should be fine. Or we even have ten, perhaps. So we should be fine. I can actually extract from the Reaper corpses, get some stuff from that. Could you show the vodka titles? I think we only have one vodka. Ah, shit, we can't actually craft it. Uh, two. Give me one second here. Let's. Uh, I need to produce some javelins and I need to produce some torches. How did it go again? I think it was two javelins and five torches, wasn't it? Okay. Now let's get this right. Uh, by building a lot of these things, we can actually do more bug hunting. Yeah, tortures. Uh, classic me. <laughs> Alright, well, four days. That will work for me. And then afterwards we can do a cave hunt. Yeah, two, five. When are we gonna get Ballista? Oh, God, son of a... Really, is there? Really? Oh, this guy, I can't believe him. Give him the option for Ballistas and he doesn't show up until after I'm done. There we go, big Ballista. <laughs> it's just gonna take a hundred days. That is awful. Let's start small. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let's not forget about this. There we go. Um, right, what type of vodka do we have? I think we only have one type, which is Cosmo Porto Java vodka. I think that's literally all the vodka we have. Which is a luxury brand of very strong human beverage. 330 proof Hilarium boosted. Brutal third age depleted Hilarium. The only vodka we need, right? Uh... So yeah, one of the things I'm actually very worried about... Ooh, integrated devices! We took time to carefully poke around the looted belongings of an academician and found a bunch of smart tools used in their trade. Additional inquiry into this topic could perhaps allow us to devise something useful. <laughs> Alright, so this is the next thing that we really need. Cosmo Porto Java means spaceport. Ah, clever. A bejeweled cross? Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? I kinda don't wanna wait 15 days. And researcher base supply. Whenever secret base exists, it needs to be constantly supplied. Tracking a supply run to its landing zone is a surefire way to find a secret base. We could be wary though, the out uh, the owners know that their flights are easily protected and have made precautions against thieves. They will fight to the death knowing that their ship is rigged to explode if they cannot defeat the enemy swiftly enough. Wait, what? Um... They better be joking. I swear to god, they better be joking. They're probably not joking. Communications, the underground information web. The Brainers are so fond of the Ethernet is, se is separate from official Trader Guild controlled Holonet, although it is not impossible to infiltrate one from the other. Ethernet, used basically by every community, relies on innumerable private com sender receivers. Their transmission is heavily scrambled to hide in the jungle of EM background noise. Ethernet is how Jack can contact us and all his tribes. It's how the Black Market and the Mutant Alliance commu communicate. Cool. 
Ah, Neophyte, Bootcamp, Contact Smugglers, Logistics, Outpost. You know what? We just unlocked a whole bunch of interesting research, didn't we? Holy crap. I think we already have a high resurator, don't we? Yeah, we do. Cool. Templates. <laughs> I mean, let's be fair, okay? Trebuchets are cool. Trebuchets are cool. But ballistas kick ass as well. <laughs> Morale busting speech. Ah, oh, cut them up. Why do we keep getting drunk and just, uh. We found a hint terrible unknown passage in our hideout. Behind the door, we found a skeleton wearing remains of a power armor. Oh, power armor parched times one. Damn it. For a moment, I thought we actually unlocked the power armor. I got so excited almost. We did get a Vibra sword, yeah. And a Gothic Ray Gun, which is number two. Frag Grenade. A strong explosive charge contained within a fragmenting metal shell. It brings more violence to your doorsteps than a high grenade, but weighs more. A Vibro. A Vibro Sword. Yes. I mean, right? That's what it says on the, the package. I hope that's what it says on the package. Uh, we need to contact some smugglers, that's gonna be very important. And steam power, not yet, I think. Spy on the ninjas. Actually, we need to get slavery. Why I can't remember, but we need to get slavery. A girl guide. 37, tired of all the hassle with daily dressing up in all that equipment and agonizing in front of the mirror. Can't ever seem to find pieces of the stuff you want to wear. In the equipment screen, you can use quick save hotkeys, F5, to save her. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can load any custom templates by pressing the quick load key, F9. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Time to intercept. Oh really, it's actually good. That's nice. That's very nice. <laughs> Naked. As usual. Ah yes, it's no surprise nowadays. I think everybody is more likely to be naked than dressed, to be fair. I can't wait until I can get an actual outfit for my, uh, damsels. Alright, let's, uh, let's slap that, that boy aboard. I don't think we can research it yet because the pre-requisition research we're missing. I think I've seen a pop by and we need something else first before we can research the damn thing. It's a far superior rapier. It's a all right, that's good to hear. <laughs> that is good to hear. Ooh, armor piercing shells. Hmm. I think that's everything I want to take with me. Yep. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's do this. I prefer them naked than to be worn. <laughs> uh. Where are you going, buddy? Alright, just a civilian craft. Let's see if we can intercept. Oh boy. As lively as this place might be, I am very scared right now. I should pull out. Ah, alright, we have another scientific experiment. I've been ignoring these things for far too long. We need to do this. We need to go to the scientific experiments and get ourselves a victim. Uh oh. Alright, nobody murdered us. Okay, uh, so the best way I want to do this is by doing it during daytime, which I find very important. 
So we're gonna have to wait until the right moment. Great advice. Less people is more oxygen to live like ants in a hive? No, it's not the proper way. Smaller crew means more liberty and is prudent money wise. Ten runes will build us anything. Three branches solve all mysteries. Just choose actions very smartly and never ever get hurt. <laughs> uh, just the way it should be uh, there. Blessed. Don't worry about it. The important thing is not to leave me to my own devices because that is when bad things happen. Alright, Scientific Academy Outpost Expert Thingamajix. Yar. Fuck, it was scorching hot. Oh boy. Only I brought a canteen of refreshments, right? This is, this is where it's going to become incredibly problematic awfully quickly. Uh, so I did not take that into account and I should be bringing some fans with me. Should have brought the bikinis exactly. Rookie mistake. See, this is why I should not be left to my own devices. Like five seconds in and I already forget what I was doing. Alright, mercy in her swimsuit. Gonna be perfect. Look at that carrying capacity of 10. She can't even wear a Yuzi. Alright, no continuo refreshment for her. I feel like I still want to wear the exquisite lingerie, by the way. That goes without saying. Okay, Valkyrie. I don't know if the fan actually does have the intended effect I assume it is having, but we'll see. This is how I'm planning to cool myself down with a bunch of fans. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, ho 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 ho. Uh, this is pretty hot, yeah. Alright. We'll make it quick, and we'll make it clean, as they say. Or don't say, we'll see. Hmm. Like, we have contact. Oh, this map is pretty cool. But how does the fan work, real quick? Um, I think it was just a joke. Damn, should have known. I've been, uh, tricked. Tricked yet again. I did hear a bullet being fired. And contact where, what, who, wow, fuck me. It's a drone. Alright. This is when my nightmare begins. Alright, and we can also see an academy nurse. Alright, so here's the thing. Like I said, we gotta move fast and we gotta move quick. Now, uh, the fact that there's a drone about is actually really bad for me. Um, it's gonna limit my movement so severely. Uh, it's, it's not even funny. And I am not happy about it. So here's, uh, here's what we're gonna do. We need to get close to the drone and we can probably quite easily take down the drone. We'll kill anybody within sight, but we gotta move quick. And I do not like moving quick on this map. It is sand and I'm 100% certain that sand is gonna slow me down. Oh boy. But if we can pull this off. Hoping that we can. If we can pull this off, we should be fine. Also, um, Ign Ignoble Valkyrie does have this really major issue that I haven't really gotten into yet. 
Uh, she has no stamina. No stamina to save her life. She would have gone during nighttime. It would have been freezing cold. These guys can hang out inside. Duh. My god is still telling me to retreat. Alright, so the drone seems to be uh, patrolling around, which is quite nice. Okay, that is A-OK -okay as well with me. That's the Academy nurse we saw earlier. Okay, so this is step two of the plan. We get really close. We get really, really close. Ha! Ha! Good joke. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to quick burst them. Uh, there's two things I can smoke grenade right over here. I think I'm gonna smoke grenade right over here. That will be the smart move, won't it? Close enough. And just hope that ignoble Valkyrie does a straight up cut murder, but there is no guarantee for that. This is all about closing the distance. That's step number two. I think we might have a decent plan here, but we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. You know how these things go. Oh yeah, Sonya is a goner. That drone's gonna turn around just in instantly snipe her. Okay, I think I saw two drones. I saw. I think I saw a drone fly around here, but I'm not sure if it was actually the top side. And I think I saw a drone fly all the way here in the back, that guy. Come on, come on, thank you. Well, fans are nice and all, but even they need to come to an end. Very good, very good. Ah, uh, then there is still the girl all the way in the back. Oh, come on, that's awful. That's terrible, okay. Needs to work back up, Scarlet. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. You stay the hell back. So far, we're good so far. So the drone should be my number one priority right now, which is very awkward because I don't think I have a good weapon against the drone. I really don't. Okay, drone solved. Drone issue has been solved. Okay. A Yeoman, interesting. No good weapon, by the way. Wait, hold on. Are you saying that I'm not using a good weapon?
Or are you saying that the Blackwater pistol was not a good weapon? I'm saying that's what you were saying. Hey now, okay. I, I was just a bit misinformed. That's everything. Now that I'm better informed, I actually am loving the damn thing. Or earlier I meant like we don't have a good weapon to actually shoot it up close ranged. Uh, ah, right, no. Low piercing. I assumed it won't be able to penetrate, but this thing has higher penetration damage. I'm saying lots of things, okay? It's very hard to keep track. <laughs> Very hard to keep track. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. It's a freaking gym suit. Come on, guys. Oh yeah, sure, I'll give it to her. There we go, look at that. Beautiful. Alright, from this point forward we should be able to um, get places awfully quick. To make sure we're not stuck outside. Well, hello, researcher, if that's your real name. Uh, all right, we'll try to use the damn thing for stunning. Oh, did somebody say a medic? Guys, all right, medic down. <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 I don't think that's going to be it. All right. I don't think this does actual stun damage, that's also another part. That works. Jump hold on guys, jump hold on. I think it might actually cool a bit. Okay, so what, what do we have? Okay, whew. Moonshine, let's let's take it. Sweet, sweet moonshine. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, that must be the experiment victim. One final researcher. Ah, shit, there's more. Alright, I think that's a wrap. I think we did it. All we got to do is now clear out the top floor. And there's one easy entry in and out. They'll show their faces. Speak about the devil. Yeah, that's excellent. But this is something I've been waiting for quite a while. Um, what we needed very desperately has been the ba -ba -ba -ba, the experimental victim. There, the experiment victim. And since we now officially have them, uh, we can actually do a lot of important things that I've uh, been postponing up until this point. 
Well, I'm very skeptical, but I'm actually not sure what any of it is called. Hey, surgery unit. Precision manufacturing and synth missile suits. Oh my. That's cool. Medical supplies, a golden egg. That's cool. M whoa, whoa, whoa. Meiji tech? That depends on voodoo as well. Okay. Then we have the academic medic. Get for free from a broken academic medic. That's cool. Alright, we sell these items, we say I, we uh, clear out some room in our prisons. I'm starting to get a bit concerned, like, this is what I mean, we're not doing enough research. We're not quickly going to our prisoners uh, enough. And they can teach me so much interesting stuff. A siren Yemen. Hey, didn't we just cap a Yemen? Yeah, we probably did. Okay. Uh, we'll ransom them. Yeah, we'll ransom those guys. Ah, uh, that's not true. We'll get rid of the researcher. Done. Demon of Love, Veteran Murder and Soft Target. Chopal done, guys. Chopal done. Very good mission. Uh, so one of the first things that I need to do is I need to start researching on the experiment victim that has priority over everything and anything else because this is going to lead to bandit camps and bandit camps is actually actively being blocked by this. We also have organ traffickers but that also requires a medic. That's what we have in our storage, that's right, a medic. Wow, lots of stuff popping up over here. Incendiary grenade, ah, sweet. Let's get another researcher going. We can now purchase incendiary grenades. But you old cross, an old mundane... Uh, an old symbol of religious materialism can be exchanged for mundane immaterial money. Ho oh, ho, 110k. That's what I call a hefty price tag. That wasn't too bad of a mission. I think the cold missions are like 100 times worse. Speaking about that, warehouse mission... Uh, warehouse wars. Very important mission that we're most definitely gonna do because we need to capture some. Um, we need to capture some. Uh, what, what are they uh, called? Those guys? Those people? Thingamajigs? Yeah, exactly those guys. <laughs> uh, we need to capture some trade uh, guild associates. I'm hoping to be able to do this during night time. But I think I'm going a bit heavy on the... <laughs> I think I'm gonna go a bit heavy on the um, Locknars, yes. Yes. I think I should be taking three Locknars with me. Not any more than that. So if I wait one day, we have an additional kill available. Uh, that is very true, there is there, that is very true. Uh, the only thing I'm very afraid of is that... We're gonna end up in a very nasty situation where I just have too many of them. Uh, besides, I could use some additional living quarter spaces, but that's besides the point. It's all of it is not relevant. A sick bay! Ho oh ho! A general medical facility that will speed up the wound recovery of all hands in a hair hideout. Hideout for a price. Play. Healing an extra 0.5 HP per day. It effectively cuts the downtime by a third. Your hands may complain that the recovery is being rushed, but they won't scoff at the company of nurses instead of all tired faces in the bunkhouse. Only <laughs> a single sick bag can be built per hideout. But the health recovery uh, bonus stacks with any other bonuses provided by similar facilities. As if we know anything about this. Ho ho. 
guest workspace for a single very eager brainer. Ooh, 10 medical supplies? Yeah, uh, that kind of sucks. I don't have that, but sure. That's cool. Very important building. Very important building. Oh boy, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this day. Alright, we're gonna do something incredibly stupid. We're gonna push it to the limit and push it hard. So it's currently the 9th of June, which means that we can actually afford this. Experiment victim. The mutants freed from the clutches of these ugly... Academy wenches are naturally quite willing to show us appreciation for the freedom. For the reason, I think it would be a good idea to keep them around for a while. Not like we can do much else with them anyways, right, Captain? Y yes Shadow masters called by many names. They're a myth that keeps on living despite all star gods efforts to deny it It's a popular belief that as there are gods there must be devils as well devils whom even the gods fear It is said they've waged a secret war for millions of years Shadow masters are known for bestowing powerful and dangerous gifts to those who f uh, they find trustworthy Oh wait, just Worfi. Some say they're the same beings as Loknar gods. Whether it's true or not, this knowledge will open many doors. <laughs> we can research bandit camps. <laughs> uh, but that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Ah, uh, just a bounty token. Alright, so here we are, our hideouts. Uh, so we have roughly about 30 days to make this uh, count. Because guess what, we're gonna be expanding with a sick day. Yeah, what you think about... Uh, shit, five medical supplies. Can I buy medical supplies by any chance? No. Can I produce medical supplies by any chance? No. Wasn't there a way to get medical supplies? Got eluded from ambulances, son of a gun. Well, that's unfortunate. Look at all the stuff passing by, that's fantastic. Alright, we've waited long enough, let's uh, get people aboard. And let's go kick some trader ass. Yes. All right, temperatures are normal. Everything seems to be stable. We go in, we go out. Medics have them if you rob them. I mean, yay. <laughs> I'd be very excited about it if it was for the fact that, you know, I only have access to uh, one medic. Bring down the watchtower. Yeah, 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 I will bring him down soon enough. The omnipotent traders run the warehouse in this area. If we were to strike, we could turn their wares into wares. Okay, I'm not gonna read more of it. It's too punny for me. Not saying there's something bad with it. It's just it will crack me up. It will break me. <laughs> it will break my spirits. Um, yeah. Only just noticed, since when do we have a second view on the hangar? Uh, that is our beloved air car there, Zurgel. Uh, we were planning to use it to shoot down some uh, crafts, but we don't have a gun yet. We've had it for quite a while. And it's kick freaking ass. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I need a non-lethal uh, non way of stunning enemies here. Maybe we can do race. Oh no, no, no! Is there? Don't get ahead your uh, ahead of yourself there. Don't get ahead of yourself. Screw the fence. This gun, by the way, is pretty cool. Omega rifle. I really like it. Then people are gonna tell me it's actually shit, but that's besides the point, right? Oh, we get to listen to funky music. Oh, 
Alright, so here we are in this neighborhood, this uh, ragtag bad neighborhood. We'll clear out this one, we'll go and move on to that one. Smoky music means vampire killer. Oh, oh, you can't say that. Ah, oh, come on. Really? Oh, yeah, little bastard. It's from... Really? I would not have expected that. Not by a long shot, to be fair. Does not strike me as Castle... Castlevania music. Oh! Oh, okay. You know, I was not expecting... To be honest, I would more... I don't even know what to expect. Um, anyways, this is uh, many, many levels of bad. Why? Because their entire entrance is lit up. Uh, bollocks. Oh, that's fine. I can work with this. Or try to work with this. And the more you know, the more you learn. The more much you play, the more you learn, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to cap one of... We need to cap one of them alive, guys. We need to cap one of them alive. Oh boy. So what's the best way of doing this, really? <gasps> oh, I know! I'm an idiot! Well, I mean, we all knew that part, but I'm an idiot! Ah, oh, we did it. So... I did not consider this fact, but what we should have done is we should have grabbed a bunch of rubber shell shotguns, yep. <laughs> and uh, just shoot them from a distance. Ah, well, opportunities missed and whatnot, right? I'll let them come a bit closer in that case. I'm improvising here, Estar. Okay, we're not gonna murder all of them. I know what you're getting at, but I'll promise you I'll try to do better. <laughs> I promise you I'll try to do better. <sighs> Alright. Huh? Huh? Who needs shotguns where you can just beat them to death? Hmm? Oh. Build security. Okay. What about the other guy? Ah. Alright. I'm not sure I've mentioned this before, but I really hate how uh, some shotguns always come preloaded with certain ammunition. Sometimes it just doesn't seem to cooperate, but that's cool. But there is somebody over here that I gotta deal with. At least he turned his back towards me, which is quite nice of him. Oh, well, I 
kind of want to blow up the fuel pumps over here just for fun, but... <laughs> uh, I think I'm going a bit too uh, chaotic over here. Alright, so this area must be clear. And with a little bit of luck, the top floor here is empty. Uh, this side is empty. I haven't heard this thing open. Nobody's here. If this area is clear, that means that we have full control of this side of the street, which would be fantastic. Search a boon. One, two, and then there's the guy there all the way in the back. Alright. Clickety click. Alright, so now it's replaced by a guild hostess. Somebody we desperately need, uh, if I can add. We really could use a guild hostess. I actually can take a very aimed shot here. Oh well. Um, right. Okay, obviously this guy doesn't want to go down. Stay down. I was hoping to have a little bit of training on my um my uh, my um pa -pa 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 look nurse, that's what they're called, look nurse, right. Okay, hmm. So the other question I kind of have is like, what would be the best way to uh, inflict stun damage right now from this range? I, I kind of don't have any ideas and I hate it. We'll get there. I just need to cross the street. I think he went behind the warehouse. Alright, well I need to start moving, so what I'm thinking about is we set up a smoke screen, we're moving very close and then we just clear the place out. That's the other option I have. I don't need another Geo, he's just gonna complicate things. Like, I don't have all the time in the world here, so I'm trying to kinda hurry this up. Yeah, this entire street is uh, toxic. Alright. Oh. Uh. How about you go back to sleep here? Oh, you're really making my life difficult right now, aren't you? Huh. Oh my god, seriously? There we go. Stay down. Um, right. I seem to also prefer this corner. I just want to make sure that the smoke properly as well. 
That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's where the grenade was supposed to go. I kind of am disappointed that the Lochners don't have whips on them because they don't have the carrying capacity for it, but sure. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, I, I like this plan. I think this plan might actually work. Shoot somebody dying. <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, double shit. Alright, this is uh, this is bad. This is really bad. I did not assume that that would have been a possibility. I can't just simply blitz across the field. Okay, well, um, hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate and a half. Well, I think that might actually be a very big problem for Bronze Hill over here. Despite the fact that she has 30, front, uh, 30 frontal armor, this thing does... Uh, if it rolls high, it rolls high. That's what I'm trying to say here. If it wants to inflict pain, it will inflict pain. But that's not here or now. Let's keep moving. He stood back up again. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. No, I need somebody on this flank, because I know there's somebody roaming around this area. Make sure up they don't pull up. They don't pull up on me. Okay. Perfect. Alright, we're in. Flank is still secured, which means that I need to start hunting for the guy that was on my flank that just kind of got up and started wandering about. Security. The hostess. The hostess is a priority target. Um, priority target obtained. Ha. Okay. Look at me. Alright, so there is still the flank that I could... Yes! Oi, 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 oi! Okay. I found somebody else. Yeah, I kind of wanted to avoid shooting him, but now I don't have much of an option. And I think I just set myself up to kill. That's cute. Oh, thank god. Okay. And I am pushing my luck uh, in... Terrible, terrible ways. Right, so we have a guy on the left and probably a guy on the right as well. I think the guy on the right... Yeah, it's somebody else actually. Right. Try to spot him. Kill the guy on the right. 
do not like using my lock nurse for this, I'll be fair, I'll be honest. I really don't like using my lock nurse for this. Alright, so yeah. Uh, this guy has to die, the guy who was on my flank over here. Is still gonna be problematic. I'm gonna get myself killed. Come on. energy. Yeah, that time was coming. That time was coming awfully rapidly. Alright, and we shoot him. He's taking a sweet as time dying, and I don't particularly enjoy that. Also, I haven't seen a guy on my right flank for a very long time, which makes me think that he might have actually died already somehow. But I need to investigate. Can't leave that to chance. Just like I can't really leave this to chance either. Bon appetit. That's cool. Alright, one down, one more to go. Alright, we'll have him next turn. Simple as that, we'll have him next turn. Ah, <sighs> oh, that guy got back up. You no, know, a lot of people are getting back up, and it's kind of scaring me. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy I was talking about. There, take that, GM. Take that. Yeah, he bled out already. Um. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to make that. Alright, let's just shoot him so we can go home. <gasps> Is it the guy inside? Must be the guy inside. Ah, oh, shit. Really? Oh, back we go. Well, he did pick up his shotgun, so I should be a bit more careful. Uh, it would be nice if he doesn't bleed out next turn, which means that I will be able to apply first aid to him. Well, actually, let's apply first aid to him this turn. Bleeding for three. I'm sure he'll appreciate this. There you go, buddy. I should keep him alive for one turn, and the next turn we'll eliminate him, and we'll have a bunch of prisoners to interrogate and torture. Cool. Yeah, he's not dead. Just overstunned. Please take a dirt nap. Please take a dirt nap. Oh, you little shit. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, double bollocks. Oh, that's right. This is this is where it's all gonna go belly up, isn't it? This is the exact moment. This is the part where I should... ...have applied lethal damage. Okay. Um... Yeah, 
Yeah, this changes everything. This changes everything. He's the problem. Yeah, I don't mind the fact that I'm shooting near high explosives. Okay, we eliminate him, we go home a winner. He eliminates us, we go home a loser. Kasumi! Kasumi! What? Somebody behind me who shot me. No! And how the hell did he shoot me? Oh my, seriously. Uh oh. Remember what I said about going home a loser? Y yeah. About that. Also, I'm actually very surprised you could see me. I did not expect that. I need to stop dropping vodka on the ground. That is so dumb of me. Um. First aid, first aid, first aid. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, shit, but... Let's go, let's go, let's go. None of time units, that's okay. She will live for another two days. Uh oh. It sure rains when it pours. It sure rains when it pours. How much bleeding do you have? I think she might actually got hit by the shotgun by accident. Got him, got him, but he's not bleeding. Okay. Oh, fuck me. You know, there are these moments where... You have one assumption. And you commit to that assumption, and then you realize you've been wrong all along. Ah, fuck. And here I'm trying to save people. He's the one that actually shot me. Yeah. Go home a loser, as I said. Go home a loser. I need that vodka. I need it now. She's dead. She's gonna bleed out. She bled out. <sighs> and another girl bites the dust. Yeah, that... <sighs> should've seen it coming. I should've seen the signs. I didn't, but I should've. Okay, now I'm just uh, now I'm just making bad choices. Now I'm just making bad choices all around. That's right, you deserve it. In there, I was thinking, I was actually hoping for one small moment that we could have pulled through. One tiny moment. That's all I needed. Oh, I need it. I can't believe it. I mean, it sucks. It really does suck. I'm not even gonna try to sweet talk it. That really does suck. I'm a bit disappointed about it, but oh well. Seriously? Yeah, okay, the bows are really not doing uh, what I want them to do. That's the issue with bows, they're just too weak. Alright, we'll have them next turn. Well then, apparently we're having a small brawl. Get the hell out of there, Kasumi. Shit's about to go down. Man, this security guard caught me off guard like crazy. What's her throwing? Wait, who's? Hellas? Hellas throwing is 68, which means she... Oh, he surrendered. Coward! <sighs> Unbelievable. A human spacesuit? Okay.
a guild stapler. Snubby domestic shotgun. UAC carbine. Oh my. RCF carbine. Some smoke, some chemicals, some superconduct wires. Cool, cool, cool. Whole bunch of uh, neat little stuff. We got the guild team leader. We got the guild uh, hostess. That's actually quite nice. We got some guild operatives. Guild security, a savvy girl. I don't know what she was doing there, but we got her regardless. That's cool. So what's the lesson that we learned here? Um, don't count your chickens before they hatch. No, I, I learned nothing. That's that's the joke here. I did learn literally nothing. Alrighty, so. Blank 50% crit is bad, wait, is it? Everyone will die. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the lesson I learned. Hey, we got a recon expedition. That's cool. Didn't even realize it. Like, that was a pretty hard lesson that I learned after I played, um... After I played the XCOM Falls, everybody will die, no matter how hard you try. It's one unfortunate accident and poof, they're gone. Now I guess we can keep the combat bow. Um, chainsaw... I'm not planning to use the chainsaw, so we can obviously sell the chainsaw. Sell the rope, keep the leather whips. Keep the Fuso knives, even though I'm not currently using them. Keep the javelins. Keep the crossbows. Uh, the Harkova bus can go. It was really not that great of a gun anyways. The guild stapler we keep. Harpoon we keep. Holdout pistol we sell. Because we're now using the Black March. Black March pistol. I guess the assault pistol is better. But eh. We have not researched the snubby yet, but I can already sell one snubby and its ammunition. Uh, same with Confederate Eagle. Probably pretty good gun, but we'll see. Uh, big Iron. Hand Cannon. Hand Cannon is actually pretty good. Pocket Laser Charger, we can sell two of those. I'm not really actively using them. Matter of fact, we can sell three of them. Actually, let's just sell all of them. Submachine gun we do use, bended SMG we don't. We're just keeping a lot of like these weapons around so we can research them and be done with it in case it becomes a issue. Or in case it becomes uh, a necessity. We have too many domestic shotguns anyways. We have way too many heavy shotguns. Um, maybe you should bring Atom Bears instead of Moonshine. Um, isn't the problem with Atom Bears that they restore like 15 energy, whereas Moonshine does 25 at the cost of two extra action points? I should double check that. I think I briefly glanced over it, but I wasn't too impressed. We keep the combat shotguns because they are actually pretty damn cool. We keep the cacaos. Blunderbusses are okay. Uh, spray guns can actually be sold. Bye bye spray guns. Tommies we keep. The ramshackle rifle we sell. Okay. I think I'm gonna sell all the home front rifles. I was really not impressed by the gun itself. Well, we have it researched. I'm not sure why it's not telling me more about it, but sure. Um, RCF carbine, the bow pop carbine, scoped carbine is pretty cool. Omega rifle is too great to sell, let's be fair. 
I can keep one boarding gun. Yield carbine, I think we keep. The varmint rifle can go, there you go. Like, I'm just mostly just currently clearing out junk that we have laying around. Uh oh, what up is there? Is my um, spring cleaning that impressive? Not using the 40mm gun. No, no, I'm not using the 40mm anti tank gun rifle. Not until I've researched it, at least. We can get rid of some high explosion grenades down to 16. I'm pretty sure there's people just watching that are just completely like dying on the inside. Watch. Huh? Wait, what? Okay. Okay, we have a mind probe? I... Alright. I had no idea, but that's cool. I have way too many continual refreshments, thanks me. Um, pa pa pa, way too much vodka as well, thanks me. Sell some ex grog. Definitely can sell some smokes. Hot damn, we have a lot of smokes. Can sell some crack. Crack is still quite important, but we have way too much of it. Keep the combat drugs, fancy scalp. Uh, keep the fan until I know what it does. We can sell some exquisite lingerie. Glamour, land deed. We have six workers apparently. Slave AI, industrial scanners, surgery uh, unit, stasis pods, tiny drill. Um, yeah, we have quite a bit of soil in, don't we? We have a lot of uh, we have a lot of mutant porn. Hmm. And forest can be sold. Signet rings can be sold, but we haven't researched it yet. Jewelry could actually be sold. Let's sell it for now. Silver bars we keep until I've researched it. Oh, actually, I can sell it. There you go. And we'll keep one for research. Golden egg can be sold, and the bejeweled cross can be sold. Well, actually, not the golden egg. Golden egg can still go to research, but the bejeweled cross we can. You know what's funny? This is 350k. That's insane. That's a lot of cash. Just currently going through all of this thing, uh, these things one by one. I need the stilt rum. Why does that require voodoo? Are you saying there is no such thing as finally the stilt rum? <laughs> Ooh, 99 apples. I gotta check what we're actually missing for uh, creating Chateau de la Morte because I think uh, it's it's saying that Chateau de la Morte actually uh, takes a lot less. Yeah, just ignore me. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Reaper corpses, luxury fur. Okay, I'm happy with this. Somehow I'm happy with this. But the main issue is we're still quite heavily over um, over our capacity and that kind of scares me. Anyways, let's uh, sell... Oh my god, seven? Ah, bollocks. Alright, the GI Joes can go besides one. One killed security we can sell. One of siren security we can sell. I guess we're gonna sell both an siren security and a researcher again. And I guess I can sell. I what can I sell? Hmm. A savvy girl. It's a shame of the security guard and the researchers because they do give me some interesting insight to certain things, such as academy recruitment, daily business, peacekeeping, and pacification. But we don't know a lot about the guilds. So I do want to keep at least one copy of every guild person about, and we got like five different people, so yeah. Like I said, we have an actual prisoner issue. Um, I'm gonna have to clear this out quite aggressively. 
Which I'm working on, so that's nice. That's nice. AMG ammo. Mm, cool. Human of love, veteran, patient, murderer, nightingale, softer. Ooh, grunts. Fancy weapons are not for you. The ubiquitousness and dependability of assault rifles is what you respect. Experience in that area gives you accuracy and endurance. Life goals, minimum of 35 for the third iron school. Sleeping Beauty and Master of the Handle. But it came at a cost. This cost being... Um, Ignoble Valkyrie. Enemy hideout. A ninja outpost assault. Ni uh, Sky ninjas have established four base of operations here. We better root them out before it grows into something more dangerous. Thankfully there isn't too many of them, but we can surely expect lots of point defense. I know, turrets. I think we gotta deal with it before it becomes an issue. <laughs> Let's take a peek at the Atomberia. <sighs> Watch that wish. Am I in a position? No, most definitely not. Am I gonna do it? I am really not in a position to do this. I think I might need to hire some hands. It'll be a waste of money. That will be a big waste of money. Anybody I can recruit at all? Nope. What about, um, what about, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, to, to, to expedition mission, no? Oh, it's just laying around. Okay, it's still being processed. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I know, big yikes, sister. Big yikes. Can't believe it. Atom bear. Let's first do that. So, if we check out the moonshine that we have, where's the moonshine? We can see that the moonshine restores 25 energy at the cost of. Ba -ba -ba, 4 charge per bottles. I think it's 10. 10 action points. Ah, uh, 40. No? Yeah, 10 action points. Whereas if we take Atom Beer, for example, it restores 20 energy at the cost of 8 time, un um, eight time units. Hmm. Yeah, this does cause 8 stun damage, which isn't that much of an issue anymore, and it only has 3 uses. I think that should be fine. It also causes 8 stun damage, but since we are nowadays using... Uh, what do you call that crap? Since we're nowadays using... H Hilarium Charms, that shouldn't be an issue. It restores the... No. Really? I I'm pretty sure it was saying it actually causes stun damage. Oh, it restores 20 energy and 8 stun damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Oh, we'll keep some moonshine laying about. Yeah, so we have a great training mission available for us, which means we're going to be bringing a crap ton of Loknar together with one human. Uh... I don't know, these don't feel like training missions. Uh, watchtowers don't feel like training missions for Loknars for one particular reason. Um, a Loknar is not that great at melee combat, if you were to look at them. Which means that they'll probably lose close quarter combat checks and just get beaten to death. That scares me. Uh, 
That scares me a lot. Um, yeah, I was thinking about having a girl take points. So the girl is the one that's going to be doing the close combat. Do it like you do your long war training missions. I'm not going to kill everybody. Hell no. Um, that's a good point there. I would like to use non-lethal damage if I can, but... Well... Know what they say. I just want to go with Handle. A poison dagger is pretty non-lethal. Yeah, we only have two poison daggers is my main issue. Stompaton is reactions. Hey, it is reactions, but it's also half melee, which is the issue. Oh, uh, but sure, we'll use a bunch of stompatons and poison daggers. That sounds like a plan. Sounds like a pretty good plan. Okay, yeah, that's how we're gonna roll. Uh, the kettle prod is too heavy. That's the problem. The kettle prod is too heavy. I think this weighs like 10. We can try. Alright, night mission it is. Not sure how I feel about doing it during night time, but we'll be fine. Uh, next up, so this is my plan. We are gonna attack the enemy hideout. We are gonna take the 40mm rifles with us, which we're gonna be using to fight against the, uh, the turrets. And we'll clear out the Sky Ninja hideout. I'd like to clear it out as soon as possible. But it will be a bit of, it will be a, bit of a gamble. So I actually wanted to dive into research and just quickly check this out. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If I research it, a G-I-R-L. <laughs> if I research it, I do lose out on one advantage that I currently have, which is I have two of them. I was secretly hoping by researching one of these anti-tank rifles, I might actually be able to, uh... Get it? Buy it myself? Uh, okay, well, this is what it is. I think it will be quite handy for me to research it, but that would not be the time. I think you might need to get Bryce to buy it. Ah, shit. Will make a lot of sense. H. Brasperch. Clanner. <laughs> but no, um. BH, BH, BH. What could BH stand for? I don't think we'll be getting this anytime soon. Bounty Hunter. Damn. Requires 200 glamour. A check price bot and a bank price bot. Huh. Okay, that should not be a problem. This might actually be a small problem. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Um. Oh my. Uh, okay, the Goblin Dex. That is basically where we gotta buy something from, and we can also buy like snow, a silver snake, or Confederate gear, or stuff like that. A piranha. Didn't somebody point out that the piranha is actually a ship that you can use, but it's very weak. How about we just go for a silver snake, because this is the cheapest. 
there. Then we just need to get bounty to uh, tokens, Zack tokens. Which requires old coins. Damn, I kind of regret that I've been selling those for uh, cash. I knew this will happen, but well, cash was in dire need. <sighs> Let's do this. Or die trying, right? The handle damage comes from strength. Shit, you're right. And then we have Damned Minx. That's a terrible, uh, terrible idea. Um, let's just walk around with a handle and a pistol. That should keep enemies at bay. Can't wait for this to turn into a shit show. Um, right. Probably down here. We'll see. <laughs> it's right here. And just like that, we have the researcher. Hope this works. Oh, well, off to a great start, as you can see. Excellent. <laughs> And now I need something to destroy the dummy, but I think s just straight up punching it should uh, suffice, shouldn't it? Let's take a few turns for this. Get everybody accommodated. Holy shit, that worked pretty well. How many reactions do these Loknars have anyways? So this one has 73. This one has 75, 89, 86, and 90. There you go. They have really good reactions. I was afraid of that. Alright, let's uh, just uh, knock our KO, shall we? Alright, and this is where I'm gonna take a little bit of brunt damage, sadly. Because they're gonna come for me. At 
This won't have been as much of an issue as it seems if, like, the guy wasn't standing right freaking above me. But, you know, these things uh, tend to have a way of really screwing me over. Yeah, and then there's this researcher, as they like to dub themselves. Have brought a whip. I should have brought a whip in hindsight, yeah. Well, that worked. Either shoot her or stand outside. Yeah, I want to go for standing outside, hoping that she won't come outside. Reshuffle herself inside the building itself. And then hopefully be able to uh, knock her out next turn. But the main issue there is. I wanted to move outside and not straight up shoot her while I was standing there, but I think one of my lockers had two uh, time units left. Which was quite unfortunate, but all by all nobody died, so I'll chalk it up as a win. I'll keep the pistol clips. Hey, money burst. Yeah, it could have gone a bit better. And then we can sell the researchers. Oh. Damn, look at that. Yeah, freaking Ching. Yeah, it's very good XP uh, XP gain. That's a hundred k in uh, prisoners that we just managed to pick up. That's pretty sweet. Soft target and murderer. Good job, Melina Powermonger. So yeah, here's kind of like the other uh, research slavery already. Uh, with what brainers? Because everybody seems to be pretty preoccupied with important projects. Which, ooh, I did not realize that's thirty days. Um. There you go. Now we're researching slavery. Only gonna take 20 days. Some of these projects require more than one brainer. So let's uh, take care of that next. My brainers are too spread out at the moment. By the way, any chance that that gave me medical supplies? Let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba. I'd like to get myself a sick bay. Nope. I might actually give um, Jesse Patricia over here martial arts training. That does sound pretty good right now. <laughs> also give her nepotism right off the bat. I don't think we need that though. Gaching. Man, Cave Hunt is taking forever. But what do we need for Chateau de la Morte? Just apples. Wait, just one apple? That doesn't make a lot of sense. How is it just one apple? Because we have 99 apples at base. Uh, do, 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 apple. Oh, I get it. Oh, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, it's limited by storage space, most likely. It's saying like, well, you're almost full in storage space. You can only get 44 more before it maxes out. Uh, Ninja Hideout should be next on my priority list. Now here's the issue with this. If we go to our vessel, which is what I tried to do the last 12 times, you can notice that all my gals are to an extent wounded for uh, one or more days. So we will be able to pull this off in roughly about 10 days. So that's how long we're gonna wait and we'll see. Just hope that we'll be able to do it in time. Black March. The inhabitants of this country are known for their combat, metal, and fierce pride. They prefer rural life, as large cities tend to draw heavy artillery fire. Same goes for organized infrastructure. Forest pathways and animal transport make poor targets for bombing. Many of uh, many have taken the locals for unwashed and uneducated primitives. 
which appear to be only partially true, as the country has not only held off several invasions through their combination of guerrilla warfare and expert military training, but was even able to expand its territories and it could perhaps become a major power if it's not for the locals' very vocal distrust in any form of peacetime government of their inability to conform to any non-military rules or regulations. Holy crap, that is one hell of a sentence. Only two cities can be found in this land, sprawling a free city where the locals convene to form their parliament and an imposing fortress, the Bastion, serving as a bullcourt against bad things that dwell in the south. Contacts, a black march. Well, we can't research that. I mean, obviously we could, but I'm not going to. Not right now. There's a few other things I want to... Okay, who am I kidding? That's Contacts, black march. It's too good to pass up. I mean, look at that. We get actual guns. Actual guns. Oh. Is that an ambulance? Oi, 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 oi. Here we go. Okay, so I cannot actually take anybody useful with me. Um, yeah. Too bad. Wait. Assassination attempt? Oh, not again, stupid gals. I think it might be planning to land. Uh, we have two boss gals, Damned Minx and Forest Tits. I'm very glad that <laughs> they're back on the case again. Every single time I have to say Forest Tits, I just can't help but laugh. It's such a ridiculous yeah. name, I love it. Uh, right. Again, we're running very heavy on the Locknars, but we'll see how that plays out. Also, grenade launchers, whenever we're dealing with those turrets, is going to be fantastic. But for now, we'll send this out, we'll intercept the shipping contact, and we'll see where that's going to bring us. Hey, ballista bolts have me finished. That is not an ambulance. Shit. A medium contact? Oh my. <gasps> Ooh, daytime though. Alright, we all know how this goes. Let's make it count. I like how I'm equipping my um, Locktars, it's like, oh, they're over in combat, get rid of the band-aid kit. Even though having a band-aid kit around is actually very handy. I'm looking at, like, her uh, uh, forced its loadout, it's like, yeah, this is all over the place. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. copy, paste, get rid of the pistol, and replace the pistol with the assault machine gun, which I thought was actually a pretty good thing to have. Um, ba -ba -ba. and the last thing I'm missing is an additional uh, firing clip. Are we running out of... Uh... <gasps> yes, we are running out of AMG clips. Well, damn. How cold is it? I believe this is temp uh, temperate. I have no idea how to pull up the description. I want to hit Ctrl H, but I know that if I start pressing random buttons, that bad stuff is going to happen. Always, uh, always is the case. Omega Rifle. Control B, I think. Nope. Uh, Shift B? Alt B. Control V? Control N. There is a note system? Alright. The more you learn, apparently. I have no idea what uh, control is, but... Doesn't seem to be control B. That's a shame. Control shift B? No. Control alt B? No. <laughs> I give up. Um... I guess you can see the brief from here. 
Yeah, the mod must have changed that because I'm pretty sure you can or we could in the XCOM files or maybe that's something specific to the XCOM files, that's another possibility. Either way, um... I need a form of lethal damage. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready to roll out. Let's see how this mission goes. Where the fuck are we? You can see it on the battle proper. It doesn't tell me anything. That's cool. By opening options. Yeah, nothing about the climate. Landing missions always always have normal climate. That's really good to know actually. Right. Remember kids, the better we do, the more money we're gonna earn. Keep our heads down, stay out of trouble. I feel like I could kill the researcher on one hand, on the other hand I feel like I should just pretend she's not there. It's freezing cold! Also, I know there's one right over here. <laughs> How are you all doing? Hi there, buddies. Huh, curious. Yeah, don't get to shoot me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that right now. Ha 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 Awful. God damn it. Ah! Fuck's sake. Alright, so for those who are curious, I just really, really F myself. Um, I should immediately put a stop to this. I kinda didn't want to kill them and I kinda want to capture them, but that went out of the window the second we had some very bad rules here. Should have gone full out though. Yeah, I should have, shouldn't I? There's a lot of things I should have done here. A lot of things I could have done here.
No! No! Oh my god! This, this is my fault, this is my fault. I got too greedy trying to cap mass murder, that's the answer here. Ah, oh, these fucking academy bastards don't understand any different than mass murder, I swear. It would be fantastic if my guys could also hit. <sighs> Try to stay dead. Alright, I'm, I'm now in full panic mode for obvious reasons. Uh, a lot of bad stuff is happening here that I have to get through. That I simply can't get through. One problem at a time. One problem at a time. Yeah, they're wearing armor, but dear god, we're getting shot from all angles, shot by everyone, shot by everything. Uh, people are bleeding out left, right and center right now because of stupid grenades. That's one. That is two. That is three. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my game face just... Uh, Switched on awfully quickly here. Bleeding. We know there's at least one scientist roaming somewhere over here. She is unhurt. Thanks to Sonya and her incapabilities. And one thing I really, really don't like right now is how... Um, and damn, the Minx has seven bleeding wounds. Oh, okay. Alright. Gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. As long as I keep saying we're gonna be okay, we will be okay. How this works. If I'm in denial for long enough, we're gonna be okay. She will be signed. Damn, the Minx will take a lot more damage here before she dies, hopefully. Hopefully her armor will protect her. Um, and then we just clear the rest out. Okay, this is really good. This is really good. Uh, Power Monger is back up. That is fantastic. Ooh. Yeah, this is actually a full panic uh, moment for me. That's quite adorable. We're, we, we are recovering. Ooh. It's, it's like one of those moments where a laid-back mission all of a sudden just takes a, a turn for the worst. Stunt. Shit. Why are you doing all these? You know that the game does an excuse. Yeah, you're right. It's just after the last mission I got a bit greedy. I'm like, yeah, we can do this. We can take a few captures. That shouldn't be an issue. Turns out it actually is an issue. I'll never learn. That's the main issue. That's right, and stay that. Oh, okay. See, guys, I'm okay. We're okay. We're okay. Punch them in the face with. The yeah, that's another thing I could have totally done. Just punch them uh, merciless. Apply some first aid to them. Ah, uh, boom, boom, boom. I will teach them. Alright, could you please do me a favor and not try to kill me? Come on, buddy. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna be fine. It's always full panic mode for me when something happens that I'm not expecting. Don't die, don't die on me. Okay, still overstunned. So now I gotta figure out how I can make overstunnage stop, and that is where Atom Beer comes in. Time to force feed some Atom Beer to people if I can. 
at the beer shifts today. I can't believe it. Alright, and now we just have them to Minx who needs to be patched back up. I mean, I did create a big group of people which made a very juicy target, so that is fair. But man, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate to say the least. x rock is another way of healing. Not sure why I'm not using this. This would be so handy to use. x rock is just heavy. That's the main issue I'm having, it's just heavy. So here we go, we are going to be disabled for the next X amount of days. That is the one thing I'm a bit disappointed about. It's not going to be great. I think she went back inside. Hope you guys are having as much fun with this as I am. <laughs> God, that grenade was really nasty. I'll admit, that grenade was... Oof. I don't know what I was thinking. I pushed it. I should have just stepped them and just keep my lockers in the back. Have one person be in contact with them. So, you know, one person is doing the knife thing and somebody else should have started working on the researchers. Uh, that would have been the best way to do it, but oh well. Ah, she surrendered. Nobody died. Uh, stat increases have been distributed. I am not going to complain. Necroplane parts. Oh, that's cool. I'm not going to complain. I mean, obviously I'm complaining, but I should not be complaining. Runabout documentation. Runabout. Ooh. Ooh, that's... That got the fires burning inside of me. Ooh. The only downside here is a insufficient. Is that necroplane from the map? Maybe it is. Maybe it actually is, yeah. That would make a lot of sense. Looks like the game excused you. Yeah, let's hope it stays that way. We're good, right, guys? We're fine. Ooh. I'm okay. We're okay. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. <laughs> oh man, that got me all fired up. It's so a rock. Okay, but I kind of want to know where most of my uh, storage space currently is going to start. That's the main issue. Alright, street veteran, a uh, street fighter, veteran patient, nurse, soft dark tracker happy, hitman. Job well done, Isdar. Job well done. Sleeping beauty and bullet magnet. Alright, but that is going to put these people that were in the craft. Um, recovering for the next uh, 5,000 days. And then later you'll regret that you didn't die now. Exactly. Uh, just to recover. I think this is 18 by default, but it's been reduced to 14 thanks to some of the things that we have. Yeah, yeah, I shall go to lock stores, which was the next thing I was planning on doing. Uh, pa, 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 pa. What I want to know is idle missions. Idle days, here we go. Uh, so, 31 days for Hella, that's okay. 17 days for Damned Minx, that's actually pretty good. It's only 17 days, and 11 days for Melina. That's not too bad. Yeah, so here's like the main issue. If we go to our vaults... And we search by quant uh, space use. You can notice that Big Rocks is taken up 131. And Powerful Junk is 45, Menacing Hull, Soylent. Soylent is the next uh, problem. Hmm. Soylent, helicopter wreck. Like, I kind of want to fix up the helicopter, but I think I'll just straight up sell the wreck. I don't care about the little bird. I really don't. It would be nice, but we need to free up a hangar space. And either we get rid of the air car, which I need, or we build an additional hangar, which will be unfortunate. 
we're never gonna be able to do the um, the hideout down here. By the way, remember when I said we're gonna push it to the limit? Uh, once we actually build, where is it? Do, 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 do. Once we actually build the sick bay, which is 725k, we actually have another 900k laying around, which is we're making insane amounts of money. That's what it is. Siren security, rocket launcher. A sophisticated, uh, sophisticated and expensive laser guided system delivered various kinds of payloads with high accuracy and devastating effects. Satisfaction guaranteed. 150 from cost of or 100 burn. Yikes. Big yikes. Um, bandit camps can use an additional person and. Contact Black March can use an additional person as well. And the Golden Ank, an ancient symbol of life, cast into gold, fertility or immorality. Which one does it mean to you? Maybe both. No use 50k. That's cool. Oh no. No! I don't have anything for this. I don't have anything for this. Uh... Hope you got oxygen tanks. What are oxygen tanks? I've never heard of that. I don't think we have the crew available to do this mission. Um, that's the main issue. As much fun as it may be, I... I'd be under-deploying. I don't want to send in two gals and four Loknars, but we're not even sending in four Loknars. I did without oxygen tanks. Yeah, it's like a soft timer. Um, you do have javelins, right? Yeah. I have javelins. Huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? The main problem is the airbus can't go in the water, the blowfish can. Yeah, that's true. That's another problem. Guess we can't even go there in that case. Nope. Excellent. Ah, uh, alright. Okay, so here's the thing. I would need an additional hangar to have a... I would need an additional hangar to build either a blowfish or anything else that I really need. Or we can build a new hideout and start stationing some of our craft there together with plantations. You could sell the bus and buy the blowfish. Yes, that is very true. But how long will it take? Oh, well, we got to uh, have eight people, so why not? Why not? Sure. All right. Ah, uh, we're waiting for the Faust. How close are we to the Faust, anyways? I'm gonna wait for the Faust. But the Faust can probably ca uh, can probably not go underwater. It's fine. Even if the Faust can actually go underwater. Oh shit. Oh, double shit. Well, that's fun. Even if the Faust can't actually go underwater. Uh, uh, can... Well, whatever. What I'm trying to say is, like, even if I were to get the Blowfish, we can't do that mission anymore. Yeah, we need to save up those engines. That's the next thing that I should be focusing on. Question number one, how long until my girls are back?
Yeah, I'm aware of the test star. Um, I have a theory. Six, eight, six, four, seven, eleven, one, thirteen. So yeah, eleven. So I think this is the third enemy hideout. I think they have one down here, and I would suspect they have one over here. I'm just pulling this out of my ass, really. <laughs> Actually, no, they would need to have one over here, or all the way down there, because if it's over here, we'd be able to see it. Storage space exceeded yet again. Mm. Out with the soy. Academy engineer. Engineers are as common among the... Academicians as they're needed to maintain. Engineers are common among the academicians as they are needed to maintain their ships, labs, and other extra venganza. They're just normal peeps in light armor, but they are clever and experienced. Sometimes I wish we could keep them around for longer, but obviously we can trust them with our tools. Shoot down some civvies already. Just use the 40 40 millimeter ammo. I can't. Liquid metals? It is well known that plasteel can be shaped by magnetic fields, but a less known fact is that certain liquids can share similar qualities. This technology has many applications, from dynamic and dynamically conductive coolants to polymorphic liquids that can rapidly assume any shape in reaction to a magnetic field. To even things, uh, to even things like liquid armor that can dissipate thermal kinetic energy. Leaving no openings or weak spots and opening up when needed. This technology doesn't seem to be fully grasped by our sources, but nonetheless we learned a lot. Yeah, I don't even grasp it, thank you very much. Post-apocalyptic cuisine. Soylent, not good. Meat, good. Prime cuts not only can raise morale, but also fetches some hefty prices on the market. One of them damned runs learn to cook in the literal, not obliteral sense of the word. Which sounds like a real challenge, but definitely worth risking the kitchen being blown up a few times. Alright. Ah, that's great. We can now purchase red pepper and mutant eggs. And we also researched the Ninja Gal. Number 24, running is faster than walking, but you won't automatically stop upon seeing an enemy, allowing them... An unopposed reactions check. Yeah, I've learned that like one billion times. Sadly. <laughs> and researcher. 89. The less you wear, the more bonus V power you receive. Madness? What can I say, darling? Magic is all about the hidden truth, which is seldomly found in sanity. Let your clothes go, then your mind. <laughs> y yes. V power. Ah, voodoo power. Right. I don't even think we have the ammo for this, but sure. Yeah, see? <sighs> the truth is out. Ah, fuck, not another prepper camp. Uh, alright. Okay. I don't even know what it means when they say the season easy. I mean, that's nice and all, but that's cool. Oh no, the sea. It's uneasy. So how much fun it might be to actually run around in warrior shoots. Um, they do hamper my energy recovery quite a bit. So this is something I gotta keep in mind. Um, how are the time units? Start with that. Stamina. Even better. Eh, acceptable. See, uneasy is enemy density. Son of a crap. Oh, I feel uneasy now. So, four stats. I don't particularly feel very happy having her wear, um, what was it? What? This thing can have a shield? Oh, impressive. 
I wish we could have a tech fest. Yeah, so this also reduces stamina by minus 15. Uh, I think I might actually downgrade this bit to Barbarian with Shield, but... I, I'm not sure. I think I might just do that. So four Stits over here is going to be wearing a Barbarian with Shield outfit. Which should improve her um, stamina and time units quite a bit. Bring her more on par with the other two. Equipment wise, we are doing pretty fine. Alright, um, yes, 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 we need more medical supplies as well. I'm gonna wait until night time. I think doing those proper camps during night time actually was a fantastic idea last time we did it. Alright, and as night falls over the proper camp, so will our craft descend upon them. The natural order of life as it should be. Temperate season easy. So one important thing that I did notice is, despite the fact that we're bringing a lot of firepower to the table, I'm not sure if that's the right plan. Yeah, first it's we're gonna do a little bit of a reshuffle. So, she has 80 reactions, 75 strength, 107 melee. I kind of attempt to give her a dagger. So she'll be using a dagger, which is like have her reaction, have her melee, instead of like... Um, pa pa pa, versus a handle. That's a hundred. Eighty-five percent, whereas this is, let's see... Oh boy, that is forty. 40 and 50 is 90. Okay, this is le a little bit less accurate than the handle. Mm. I think this might actually just be overall better though because of the bio damage. Either way, let's not think too much about it. Let's instead make sure that she actually is wearing exquisite lingerie. You're right, um, that's one thing I gotta keep in mind. This is lethal damage. As a side note, I shall go in with the idea that we're going to be doing. Yeah, my problem is I always think it's safe to do melee because you know they can't hit you if you kill them. <laughs> uh, we could also use the virus sword. Where's the fun in that? All right, mutinous Cora. Yeah, I usually like to go with uh, that by proxy. Oh, actually, the color is only 6 way, not 12. What am I talking about? Death by proxy? I mean, surrender by proxy. Yeah, whatever. I'm just talking out of my ass, anyways. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Do, 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 do. All right. Smoke grenades. I don't really need smoke grenades, but I'll take them regardless. Or molotovs. It's in the every grenades. It's in the every grenades are really good. And we can finally buy them, matter of fact. Very excited about that. And I think Bronze Hill is going to run the same setup over here. Seventy-two reactions. I don't know if Stumbaton is better than the handle. I mean, we're going to go with the handle. I think that is roughly about everything I want to do here. Let's make sure that we have a few medkits available, because I think I just booted all the medkits uh, right on out of here. Which is quite a shame, so they can be quite handy. And without much further ado, let's do this mission. 
After I grab something to drink, just give me a second. Alright, well, now that I'm pretty hydrated, let's see if we can crush this mission. Okay. Let's make sure they don't get the advantage on us. Let's crack them open. Oh, that's cool. Really like these 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 term ones. Why don't you go kill yourself? They're they're really fantastic. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we're fine. We're fine, right, guys? I like how that happened on fucking turn one as well. So I'm gonna have to sweep that house, that's like the first order of business. Man, that was a devastating attack though, that was really devastating. The lucky part is that we actually managed to kill him without shotgunning our own uh, bronze hill in the back of the head. Also, her freshness is incredibly low, which means that she needs some off time. I've been pushing her like crazy, apparently. Oh, fuck me, the right here. I did not even realize that. Okay, so this does leave me a bit concerned about Korra. Korra took way too much damage there. I think she lost like a quarter of her health full. Uh, it's not too bad yet, but you know, that's how it starts. That's how it starts. That's how they get you. Personally, I want to say like this house is empty. But I know that if I say that, they're just gonna show up anyways. So I think one of the things I really am needing right now, more than anything else, is a bow. Now, these bows always come with the wrong type of ammo, because this game just won't cut me a break. That's fine. But we need to light up some of the surrounding areas and check out if we can spot some units from afar while we're doing a surrounding sweep. Yeah, molotovs are always available, which isn't too shabby. I just find throwing molotovs to light up an area um, expensive. And the fire stays too long and it produces way too much smoke. I feel like um, bows are just micro fire, so to say. Here we go.
Oh, seriously? Oh, okay, I tried. That's cool. <laughs> Does some grenades blindly. Uh, yeah, I won't be surprised if I accidentally nade my uh, my own guys by proxy. Won't even be surprised. There's at least one person down here. Okay, so notice how I'm like going to the right side and the left side, I gotta pick one direction. Uh, this is a very good direction because there's a lot of cover, but I probably want to go the left way around because then I can proc the bow a lot better. Uh oh! Uh oh! No, 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 no! Why is everything falling apart? Why is everything falling apart? <laughs> we have lights. Yeah. We did it. Yay. I'm a walking, uh... Christmas light, perfect. You know, let's not talk about uh, what I just realized. Too damn embarrassing. But, uh... <laughs> I didn't realize something. There. Boom activated. Please be careful. So I think there's a bunch of them actually inside the hideout, which means that is a definite place I do want to avoid as much as I can. So I'm thinking about actually just, uh... Knocking this guy onto the ground. Okay, alright, 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 alright. Shield has stun, you know. Yes, but the problem with shield in this case is that I wasn't very happy about the time unit cost and the accuracy. But you do raise a very, a very valid point. Maybe we can use the shield for stunning. It's just I haven't been a big fan of its uh, actual stun capabilities. I already know they're there. Why not take some lucky tosses? Um, if I don't hit them and I set up a smoke screen, I actually limit my own visibility when we currently have the advantage with night vision. That's why I'm so... Uh, Careful not just randomly tossing uh, grenades around. Okay. Stop, drop, roll, stop, drop, roll. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, that's gonna end very poorly. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so uh, uh, we do have fire extinguishers, I just forgot to put them on the craft. Uh, I swear to god, like... I I just need to make this mega list of every single thought that occurs and just deal with it. This this is very unfortunate what's happening here. I'm just gonna keep rocking smoke grenades and hope that that does the trick. That's the best thing I can do, just smoke grenades up the wazoo.
Ahaha! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, what do we have here? I do not like the looks of that. Uh, smoke grenades are an impromptu way that I tried to get rid of, uh, of fire. I know that it works pretty decently in, um... It worked pretty decently in, whatchamacallit? The XCOM files. Somebody order a Molotov? I... Uh... Oh, I can deal with the old rifle. I shouldn't be laughing too loudly because he's just gonna unload his entire magazine against me and just kill me. Uh, but he's on fire right there. Oh, fuck me, he's gonna panic. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It's also very possible this guy actually walked behind me, but we'll see. Oh, come on! Oh my god, I got so lucky that he's just guessing where I am. Yeah, so we are slowly but surely burning up. Okay. Um, it was fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted. Mm, is there no impromptu way to get rid of this? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Okay. Yeah, the AI is doing what I'm doing. I'm actually crippling myself because I'm crouched. That's cute. Seriously? Oh shit. There we go. Now I just gotta hope he doesn't have a second grenade he decides to toss as well. Yeah, the AI can't see me. They know where I've been shooting from and that's how they're currently guessing where I am. I guess that's one way of doing it, right? Come on, please, Cora, stop burning. I beg of you. Stop, drop, roll. Stop, drop, roll. I'm actually very worried about this. Like, if only I could use, like, the Contino Freshman and just, like, slap her in the face with it. Oh, I'm gonna be needing this eventually, so... Might as well. Nope. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh my god. Esther's been killed again. I am hating this mission! Fuck this! This is bullshit! Come on! Ah! Well, the fire has stopped at least, but k fucking A. Alright. Um, everybody is dying all the time. Everybody is getting fired. This is this. Like, why? How? Right. That's, that's the thing, Neville. We have broken line of sight. 
we have broken line of sight. There. What? He's not dead? Bullshit. Ah. Ass. There. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> what's the next thing that's gonna happen? I'm gonna charge and he's still gonna kill me? Like, the problem is I gotta keep moving and that's what I'm not doing. If I kept moving, this would not have been an issue. Oh man, I can't believe this. This is... This is just disgusting on so many levels. Man, Esther did not have to die. I think it's that fucking dog that's sniffing me out right now. Oh my god, there is no one here. Right. I'm getting so angry guys, you have no idea. The problem is, like, every mission I do, I need to take 12 casualties and that is not working out for me. Yeah, that would have worked, but then again, like... Am I really ready to commit, like... That much crap? Oh, come on, that should have caused fire. There we go. Oh! That is cool, so apparently there is somebody who can see because we're standing in light. Okay, yeah. That's cool, that's cool. So we're about to lose somebody else. I'm, I'm actually getting very frustrated right now. Um, I might actually just get rid of night vision altogether, because I'm so god awfully sick and done with it. <laughs> you can notice I'm actually getting angry. I'm, I'm not having fun, guys. I'm not having fun. Stupid game. Oh, okay, we're gonna be fine. We're not gonna be fine, but we're gonna be fine. Literally, I have not learned anything from this, and that's the part that I hate. Fuck this. Get out. Use a real weapon. But I think we're stupid doggo. Alright, so that Spartan guy is just gonna straight murder me. Ah, uh, but this is my mistake. I should have lobbed 5,000 grenades, because apparently that seems to work compared to, you know, not doing that. It's a bit of a shame, but... If you can't beat them, join them. I know what's gonna happen next, people are gonna panic and they're just gonna kill themselves, but... That's a problem for future me. You idiot! The fucking idiot. Why would you do that? Okay. So I know there's one over here. And non uh, quite ironically, I can't even see them. Okay, he's actually bleeding out. That's quite fortunate for me. Yeah, no, this is not working. This is not working. I don't even know what to say right now. This is actually not working. Molotovs are... Uh, not the right tool here. I might just completely abort this mission, just get out. I have lost all interest in trying to beat this. Oh, just don't have the guts for it. Well, I don't know, just throw through the damn window, see if I care. There you go, we didn't hit anybody. Waste of a bomb. That's the problem, I know one of them is inside this bunker and I can't actually get them from over there. I know there's a machine gunner that is now just gonna keep shooting us until uh, death does us apart. I need long range weapons. I, um... I just don't want to do this. I just don't want to do this. It's it's hundred percent over. I, I I just can't. Like why can't I do a mission that doesn't require me to have five hundred people die? That's 
It's starting to frustrate me because I'm trying to prep for a... Yeah. Didn't take vodka either. Fuck. You know, I'm actually trying to prep for a very specific mission and I don't even get to do that. I, I don't... Okay, I think I've talked about this before and I'd like to highlight this again. I hate it when you have a game where... The only way that I could have known this is if I have done Spartans four times over and every single time I get demolished. Because... I had not known. Anyways, uh, by the looks of it, we're just gonna die. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Yeah, if I had known that Spartans are a no-no, uh, I wouldn't have even bothered uh, showing up. I won't even have bothered showing up at all. Welcome to X-com, yeah. I'm pretty pissed. Uh, I'm pretty pissed. So let's be fair, what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm just gonna reload the damn mission, forget we even did this to begin with. Yeah, they have actual guns. I kind of realized that once they started shooting like 500 grenades at me and had actual like heavy machine guns, but up until that point I won't even have known. Oof. Yeah, the grenade parts really caught me off guard. That's what completely demolished me. That's what just completely just wrecked me. Yeah. Alright, well, I know enough. Um... Ah, oh, come on. That's awful. That is awful. Alright, well, let's just get the hell out of here. Also, it doesn't have a help that Loknars uh, are unable to shoot anybody the second they're crouched. Personally, a bit disappointed about that, but yeah. Let's get out of here. Enough. I actually do want to leave. Thank you very much. Hmm. No. No, no, no. We get out. We get out. Stop, drop, roll. Stop, drop, roll, as they say. I assumed that we were dealing with regular preppers. That was my biggest mistake. Um, I assumed we were dealing with regular guys. I'll, I'll take the uh, I'll take the penalty on the face. I'll take the um, wounded penalty on the face. Yeah, extinguishers. That's the next thing I gotta do. But yeah, that entire mission felt like. Like, the entire mission felt like I'm just being overrun and slammed from all directions, and <laughs> you're uh, you're committed to a certain point in the mission where you can't simply uh, retreat anymore. Like, once I was down here, there's no going back. Well, at least it's good to know not to do Spartans until we have better armor. Yeah. No, actually, that's not true. Um, the first enemies that get squad sight are the snipers from Osiris Security. I think they're the first ones with actual squad sight. That was the impression I got, at least. That's the impression I got. Could have maybe punched... Uh, it does have barbed wire. I'm not even sure if we can punch through it. That would have been pretty clever, but even if I did that, I'd be fighting them. Mono on mono, one LMG, and we would have been dead. It's a curious thought, though. It's a very curious thought. Maybe next time. Alright, everybody's aboard. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah, <sighs> just leaves me angry. That's, that's the main issue. Very angry. Uh, I, I don't know why. Uh, all I just want is to be able to... Um,
All I just want to be able to do is uh, shoot down a bunch of enemies and take out encampments. And those security guards already scare me with sniper rifles, but Spartan guys is something else. Are, uh, <laughs> all right, peasant pilot. Um, no, no, no. Ain't happening. I would need to get a better person pilot, to be fair. Let's see if we can actually shoot this damn thing down. Uh, nope, nope, bye bye. Bye bye. That's not what I'm looking for. Yay, we have a second extractor. Yay. Explosive summaries. Explosives never fail to provide fun. Even exploded directly on someone, they attack the under armor, which is usually the thinnest. They also do quad damage versus large units. Blast usually weakened by 10 per tile, but e.g. fire uh, inflicts full damage uh, within the whole area. Launch. These use some kind of a launcher and explode on contact. Thrown. Much like the former, but requiring no launcher. Fuse. They explode after a set number of half turns. Zero is after your current turn, one is after the next enemy turn. Two is after your next turn. Oh wow. Primed and then thrown or drop. Proximity when primed to explode when someone enters or leaves a one tile radius. And now we can research landmine, which is actually quite significant to research for us. Because that leads to um Aerial explosives, bandit camps, or growing knowledge about the world, its richest problems, its heartbeat has diverged our attention towards the issue of wilderness bandits. Many black market routes are plagued by these menace. By this menace, while numerous the bandits are weak and well, they probably still keep hold on stone ridges that could be ours instead. It leads to important war crimes. Demonstrate. Oh no no no, don't you dare to land. If this thing lands, I have to do it. Bye. Whoa. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How am I supposed to go to that hideout? Oh no, I know how. Fuck. All right. All right. All right. No, no, even worse. <laughs> even worse. I think what we need more than anything else is a um, ground party. Uh, it's not the ones I'm actually looking for. Maybe I should try to shoot them down. It's a whole different story though. So if we go for a... what was it? It was an expedition, not a big bird, not an airspeeder. If we take bikes, right? If we take bikes, we might actually be able to avoid detection, right? The 8 will be even better.
What's the detection on... Do we have a detection on Airbuses? No. Hmm. I think bikes are detectable as well. Yep. I'd have to assemble a hunt party and send out a hunt party. Uh, the problem with an expedition is that the expedition is... Ah... Uh... I think they can be detected. Their detection range is 750, whereas this... Well, detection range is something different, actually. I guess that's kind of like a radar. Ironically, um, the V8 has a lower detection, but I don't know if that's us detecting or us getting detected. Us detecting, okay. Undetectable true. Okay, yeah. So we'd have to do this with a hunting party if we really want to be able to do it. Uh, it moves too slow. If I were to have a hunting party go from A to B, it will take literally a month to get there. Oh man. This base has to be eliminated though. It is way too close. a certain amount of commitment. Also, I think they can deploy multiple ships, right? Or is it just the airfield that does it? Might just be the airfield that does it. Oh, that's an enemy hideout 3. Uh, 1, which means there's only 2. I thought it would have been marked as enemy base. Uh, I stand corrected on that part. Okay, let's see if we can get our asses kicked again. Doesn't that sound like fun, guys? Yeah, that does sound like a lot of fun. Okay, well, we can easily do this. Can't handle base attacks right now. I I know, I know, that's the problem. Like, I know that doing a base attack right now will be rolling the dice. That is actually setting myself up to fail. Um, but as you could see, like, the range that that base has over my... Um, over my stuff, that means that we just lost half our uh, circle without, you know... Having to deal with their interceptors. That scares me. Guys, guess what I just remembered? I can't believe I did, but uh, that's right. F -f Fire extinguishers. Bye bye. Fire bombs. Okay, let's get this done, shall we? I, I need I need a pick-me-up. This will be my pick-me-up. I know I always get so damn angry about uh, certain missions, but... Hopefully we'll feel better after this one. You know what they say? When bronze comes knocking, you better start running. We really should start uh, stocking people up with Atom Beers. Atom Beers are lighter, that's why I'm currently am preferring them more over, let's say, the Moonshine. 
It has a two-way difference and that actually can make a whole world of difference. Haha. -ha. Over anybody and anything else. Somebody's not wearing their bra. What oh, is this, Neil? Hmm. I'm a bit disappointed. Looks like we're dealing with the guilt instead. That's not what I was hoping for, but sure. I was secretly hoping that we'd be dealing with um, a hideout or a building I could smash through. Oh, you know what to say. Winners can be choosers. Alright, so we've spotted two of them, which I guess is a good start. By the way, everybody was kneeled. I'm just saying, everybody was kneeled here. So the fact that they just managed to shoot somebody is just stupid as fucking BS I've seen. I was planning to go easy on them as well, can you believe that? I mean, I know they just have uh, one guy with a shovel over here, so I feel a bit more confident. I don't know about the rest in the back, though. Six people. That's four. Killed hostess. You can't be serious. Oh yeah, right off his armor. What a beaut. I can't believe they just straight up murder somebody though, that's like the part that really bothers me about this. Um, some of them most likely will have grenades that they're planning to lop at me, so... Might as well be mentally prepared for that. killing my people, I swear to god, when will, when will it ever end, you know? When will this um, violence against me ever end? I deserve better. I don't think those bushes are gonna do a lot of protecting. Right in the head, beautiful. Probably means Esther is about to die. What happened to all the self-damage there? Come on, you hit your own guy like 12 times in the back. Ay ay ay. okay. Asses. Charge him. Slice him. Moving on. Hey. Hey, son of a f- I'm having a great time, don't know about you guys. Time of my life. Just get rid of it. Yeah, that's right. Death scream, I tell you. Death scream. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. A bit angry. Maybe we can get another kill hostess. That might be fun. We'll see. Ah, she's still standing over there. That's cool. I <laughs> wrestle with hands. Wrestle with dice. Oh, I'm curious now. Oh, that's cutting damage, though. 
I'm curious now. Well, what do you mean you're walking away from me? Get back. KO bitch. I noticed I might have a little bit of pent up anger left from the previous mission. Like, that's the worst part of all for me. Uh, whenever I have a very bad mission that just completely demolishes me, that's, that frustration and annoyance lingers with me for like the rest of the stream. It's all full. <laughs> Yeah, that's truly awful. Uh, can you try and not shoot me? That would be nice. Oh, we don't care about the laser pistol, is there? We have like four of them already. An outdated concept. No, but in all seriousness, uh, gotta be careful. Alright, they wanna play King of the Hill? That is cute. You guys do play King of the Hill. I'll play King of the Kill. I know it will destroy me, that's why I'm scared. But I'm very scared. No amount of cover is gonna keep me safe here. That's why we need smoke grenades. I'm, I'm too late on the smoke grenades. I'm way too late on the smoke grenades. Or, you know, you can just walk somewhere else. That works as well. Yeah, I like how he's keeping his distance. Well, fuck you too then, uh, Mercer. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, no smokescreen, apparently. That's alright. Yowzers. That worked for me. That's right, buddy. Pay no attention to me. I'm just gonna sneak up on my uh, on your flank. That's right. KO. And so close, yet so far. Alright, we go there next turn, and then we can go home. He's still bleeding out, that's quite nice, I suppose. Should have taken the low ground. Or, you know, just... I guess she wants to get captured, that's cute. Very cute. Alright, blazing ball, get over here. Oh, never mind. Cling! It's a shame about what happened to um, Alisa. That should not have happened. That was just BS. Best way to put it. Oh, but yeah, we got a guild air sailor, which is pretty good. A guild hostess and a guild team leader. Uh, we got to save up the purple credit chips. We got to save up all the chips, most likely. So I won't be selling those. We can take what we need to move on. Ooh, Fencer. This is Warder for Kills made with melee weapons. And Ravager, a Warder for capturing high ranking enemies. All way all pretty good. Look at that. Look at this, there go. And there goes Alia. Alia Rocketman.
Not enough resources to produce quote unquote cave hunt. Mutant meat, tin plannings, bone club, and we're probably overstocked now. What are we missing anyways for cave hunt? We're missing eight javelins, gotcha. Oh, funky music. Oh, that's making me feel so much better. Notice how we're currently completely at a standstill. I don't like it. Uh, there is crucial research that we need to start picking up and start to work towards. I just am not entirely certain what it will be just yet. But obviously, uh, one of the things we want to pick... Alright, that's cool. But obviously, what I would want to pick up in this case is uh, Spy on the Ninjas. I'm getting sidetracked. Never mind. Forget everything I said. I want to be sidetracked. Ah, too late. Okay. <laughs> um, obviously, what we need is we need to get not skill mill, chain mill. I think it's chain mill. That will be significant to actually get. But what was the problem with chain mill again? I can't remember. What was the thing with Chainmail? Also, we probably need to pick up intricate gunsmithing one of these days. This is important to pick up. I don't know. Um, studded stockings. It's a doctor's outfit. Doctor X, Ranker. Dr. X, Affection 35. Dr. X, Recruiter. Dr. X, Humiliator. <laughs> uh, depends on Dr. X. Oh, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Uh, we have a Gold Hostess. We need to do a lot of interrogations. That is the next thing I should be focusing on as well. Um, I don't have enough Brainers. So, if I want to get not chains. So... I. I don't know. Every single time, this game just ma manages to amaze me. A Lolai chainsaw. I. A lolly. Lolai. Whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't even want to know. Metal armor requires plasticine in the workshop. Dura threat working and steam power. Hey, we have access to both of them. Build stapler. Yeah! Now we're getting any, uh, somewhere. Let's go and research. So, guild stapler. Very important to have. All of these people actually need to research. What else? Workshop, right? No. No. Steam power, right? That was the one. We need steam power. So all of these things are stuff that I need to start researching. Uh, contacting Black March is progressing quite well. The Academy Medic is progressing quite well. Slavery is uh, progressing quite well. And Dura Threat re does require the Guild Stapler. Then we can do Dura Threat working. So we're moving forward. We're actually moving forward. Landmine. As the old saying goes, few things can sneak up to someone as good as a landmine. This time hundred and ever popular device of war has a proximity fuse that will detonate as soon as someone enters a one meter circle around it. Note it cannot detect movement above or below it. The force of the explosion is concentrated upwards, so the blast is contained within a two meter radius. Just like a DP warhead, it ignores 20% of the target's armor. Oh my, a mine can be destroyed by any explosive attack of 80 power, including another mine, so be careful and space them out. Improved. This is something else we need to get. Um, that is if I want to uh, contact Crazy Hanna. Which actually we can do now. Um, all we're missing is the light machine gun. That is just a matter of RNG. Progress, slowly but surely. Alright, the Academy Medic. Academy, uh, 
academician medics are responsible for biological surveys as well as providing medical services to poor people when they need more recruits. <laughs> they are also known to experiment on humans and perhaps even kittens. Oh no. They often carry pneumatic rifles with tranquilizing darts to catch some perfect specimens like us. But remember to keep your buttocks covered when one of them is roaming around. As for our gains, medics' knowledge about mutants will be invaluable when, re uh, when searching for allies. Life support system. The life support systems of the Stellar Empire rely on custom tailored microbes that feed directly on electrical energy. They rapidly break down the body ref uh, refuse of complex organisms and produce nutrients, clean water, and breathable air. Here we have pictured a curious practice of dumping dead bodies into the life support tanks to quickly produce large amounts of nutrients, but this particular use seems pointless besides some terror value. Why wait perfectly fine meat? Anyways, with this knowledge, we have a Crucial step, a stepping stone towards enviro sealed suits and vessels. Ah, <gasps> onsens. Wait, aren't onsens and dojos exclusive? Mutant origins and also or organ traffickers, which is pretty cool. Most of this is going to take roughly about 10 days. No, they're not exclusive. Excellent. Very good, very good. Context. Black March. This land of freedom-loving tribes is willing to sell us some means to protect our freedom. They might also be persuaded to exchange their souped-up Faust air cars for three small engines we loot from other air cars, plus a small fee. The Black March SMG, famous for its ergonomics, ingenious, simple design, and precision of manufacture, this gun is coveted all over the globe. However, it's scarcely available at best, and its special ammo even more so. Organ Traffickers is an interesting mission, but it has a soft timer because of acid rain. <gasps> Boss! That sucks. <gasps> Panzer Faust? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Faust, you say? Alright. Oh, but we need to research it. Ah, shit. Get back here. Yeah, I guess I can uh, buy, buy a few Panzer Faust. It's fine. Did somebody say play around with uh, highly volatile explosives? Because that's all I'm hearing. Okay. All right, here we go. Did you see that? You mean the small King Majek the Popeye or this Recon Expedition that we uh, managed to obtain? No, I did not see that landed ship. I'm blind as a door. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I completely missed it. It's probably been landed so long that by the time we arrive it gets up and just downs your craft. I wonder what's better. Oh, we'll see. Ay, 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 ay. Hmm. I guess I can take a blister. Ooh, armor piercing, you say? Uh, we only have one clip, so it's fine. I don't know why, but I am completely blind when it comes to watching those things land. Space suit. Oh, that's that's kind of funny. Kind of adorable, really. Bolt sash, welcome. Warrior, warrior, scout.
Warrior, warrior. Pirates, pirates. Warrior, warrior, pirate, pirate, and... I kind of want to be like, oh yeah, we could put it in gym suit, but... I'm not sure what to expect here, and it can actually be pretty nasty. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually take a third and fourth pirate suit. Just as a precaution. There we go. Equipment-wise, we're doing pretty fine. Uh, we're going to set out to intercept this, and it's probably going to get up the second that uh, we are actually there. I completely missed it landing, though. That's awful. I think it's because I just speed on through. I'm like, yeah, it's a large ship. I don't particularly care about it. So I lose track of it, and whenever it disappears, I'm like, oh yeah, it just vanished. Because it landed or some crap. Okay, so what I'm trying to figure out is what happened to our recon expedition. I should be able to use it, right? But... There we go. Debrief expedition. This is what I need. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. We have arrived. We managed to sneakily land next to their ship. <laughs> yes, very sneakily. Um, jokes aside though, let's see what we have here. Done. Done. No, 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 no. Uh, it's gonna change, that has to change. Indomitable Dementia. Amazing reactions, by the way. She will be using a dagger. And she will also be using a pistol. Black March pistol, nonetheless. I'm trying to manage this a bit better, because I feel like... Some of the setups I'm running is... Pretty out there, it's pretty, pretty belonkers. Is an X really better? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it is better. Okay, cool. Uh, because I know her reactions are pretty good, but it has less of a power bonus. Also, this probably ignores like a quarter of the armor, doesn't it? Maybe? No, 100% armor effective. Huh. Okay, well, sure. A uh, pointy tornado, how much I love the idea of you running around uh, trying to stab people. 78 reactions, 121 melee. Yeah, I can hold over it. Like, this actually looks at the damage output, but this doesn't look at the accuracy. I would love to also get a breakdown of accuracy. Um... But this works uh, quite well. Yeah, there's no reason not to use the X in this case. I would love to have a... <laughs> I would love to have a backup pistol. There we go. Notice how I keep transitioning from like one particular build to another, it's actually pretty frustrating. It's like I can't settle on just one approach, it's like I have to switch it around every few missions. Oh yeah, I remember last time around we were running around with shotguns. Ah, screw that, everything's gonna be all about pistols now. 
Yeah, this actually needs to be a combat shotgun. It's it's a very bad habit I have. I can't commit to a single uh, playstyle. Like, there's no tactical reasoning besides me feeling uh, particularly fond about one thing over the other. I am a disgrace. I am totally a disgrace to myself. 79 strength. Yeah. Wait, how do you know that? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that explains. Also, I don't know if it's better to go for the knife over the axe, for example. We don't have an additional axe. So I guess it's kind of moot, isn't it? Because this actually does... Um, was it? Didn't this do energy damage as well? Armor effectiveness 50%. Alright, bronze heal. Somebody's gonna have to use this ballista, right? Yeah, somebody's gonna have to use the ballista. Because I want somebody to actually use it, so. Haha. <laughs> no, this is a god awful idea. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to have a ballista at the moment. There are different missions where it makes a lot more sense, but not this one. We do have good firing though, I'd like to exploit that. No acid cannonballs. I haven't made them because I'm missing the animal poison, I think. I should double check it. Oh no, that was the poison knives. Never mind, I, ha I actually haven't checked out the cannonballs or acid. So I definitely should be doing that. Definitely. What can I really do? I think the Omega Rifle actually does make a lot of sense. It's a very powerful gun and I should not ignore it. Alright, okay. I think we are set. Ready and set. Let's see what dies. Wait, what? What? Are you standing on the mountain? Okay. Oh, we're about to get gunned down like crazy. Raider Scout with your Confederate Eagle. Now I can do a very bold action here and just wreck tack tack, but this thing does a lot of damage, so if I don't kill her, Bolt Sash is going to die. That's no questions asked. Um. Seventy percent, seventy percent, seventy percent of eighty one is twenty four minus eighty one. Sixty. Nah, we won't be able to do that. Did you ever check out the silver snake? Nope. Yeah, she does have to open the door to get to us, so you know it's not too bad if she comes towards me. I think I'll leave her be. I was just hoping to get a drop kill on turn 1, which would have made this a tiny bit easier. Also, we're really close to the craft entry point, but we'll see how that goes. Alright, so there's two entries by the looks of it. Nope, just one. Alright. Well, without much further ado, let's watch our guys die a horrendous death.
Oh, that's cool. Oh. Ah, well. This is why I should be super duper mega ultra whatever the fuck you want to call it. Very glad I didn't do something stupid such as uh, try to shoot her earlier. Ah, uh, shit, just got real. Ah, oh, fuck me. Well, it looks like uh, Bolt Search is dead. Bolt Search is dead. Everybody dead. Dead, dead, dead. There's nothing I could have done about it. Everybody's dead. Are we failing to hit anything today? Or accuracy or, or ability to hit anybody is actually uh, pretty broken at the moment. Okay, okay. Okay. Patience. Patience and think. Patience and think. Okay, so here's the problem. I should have let Bolt Sash die. I fucked up. And it sucked, and I panicked, and I panicked again. I The second that she was locked in on zero time units, that's when she died. She don't have charged in Indomitable Dementia, which is now in a very unfortunate position of dealing with the humongous raider, which we can't kill in one turn, so I have to smoke over here. Leaving my back exposed against this guy, another humongous raider. Oh, not to mention there's also raider scouts I got to deal with. Um... <laughs> undeserved. 200% undeserved. Yeah, I actually really screwed up. I didn't realize our TUs were uh, depleted until they were all depleted at that point. But hey, when don't I screw up, right? No, no, you can't say that, Dark Phoenix. You can't say that. Think about it. Wait, hold on. No child should see this. <laughs> we try to keep it classy here, right? <laughs> uh. There's no way. There's no way. Um. <laughs> Yep. I screwed up big time. That is 56. That just means that she's in my back and I'm not very happy about that. Um... I don't like the fact that I'm putting all of my uh, survivability here in a singular shot. Because it's not going to hit anyways. 
And then of course there's Istar. If I make a mistake with Istar here, Istar is going to die. Matter of fact, I do not think I can do this with this star. Nope. This little guy is not gonna make it. Okay. Um. Yeah, it is what it is. This is what's gonna happen. It sucks. These type of things do tend to happen from time to time, but... He is just gonna shoot. This was a pretty good turn. I'm not gonna lie, that was a very good turn. All things considered, that went incredibly well. A line of sight was broken, he did not try to mass murder me. It sucks about Bolt Sash, because I did try to keep her alive. I mean, she's not dead, let's be fair, but she did take quite a bit of damage. But that was good, that was good. Bronze Hill definitely soaked up a lot of the damage there. A lot of the, the fire. And now we move to phase two. He's hit, that's pretty good. Phase 2 is somewhat of a success. Now we need to find the humongous raider, and this is... Oh! <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, I, uh... What do you mean we can't see him? It's time for me to get the hell out of Dodge yet again. It's a shame that he tried to shoot me there, but sure. Okay, um... I don't think we're gonna go on the offensive here. Anyways, this is a really bad place to be because he has a very easy way to shoot me, but I pushed I pushed my luck and it didn't really pay out because I had to sli uh, slice him twice. I don't know why I'm narrating this because everybody knows that uh, way better than I do. I don't know. When I panic, I tend to just ramble a, bu a bunch and complain, mostly complain. A little bit of rambling, lots of complaining. By the way, um... Yeah. Oh, deep breaths. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I could blind fire, but I actually need to do a uh, medic duty right now. I find medic duty uh, very important from time to time as well. What keeps people alive, right? Just gotta hope that uh, Isdor doesn't get randomly sniped here. The game likes to do that from time to time. Okay, so next turn we'll drop the raider fuck, we'll drop this guy and we'll kill whoever pops out of the craft, I hope. Um, everybody seems to be healed, let's watch everybody die again. Ooh, okay, we did take a severe hit. That's the bastard that's been hurting me. Running some uh, moonshine uh, gals, which is not too great. Okay, well. 
Some very unfortunate luck there. I wish I could do auto. I think I ruined my auto chance there. Leaning for three. The next thing I need to start taking care of. The insane bleed. Like this Raider fuck is about to die. Okay, I would have appreciated if it, that did not confirm, but it did confirm, so shit. I think uh, Hill over here is gonna take a lot more damage. That was a misclick on my end. Okay, uh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Like, I can go for a snapshot, which is what I think I'm gonna do. Didn't work. And I guess Isler over here can run another uh, big heal operation with... Vodka. Fun. Uh, three, four, five, six. Alright, so far so good. Nobody died. I didn't hear any additional sounds coming from the craft itself. Actually be a very good thing. I do know there's another guy to my left. A little bastard. I don't know why, but we seem to be having a bit of a uh, rough time at the moment. You know what? Screw it. I don't know why, but I'm just having a really awful time hitting him. There we go. That's only for minimal damage uh, as well. Okay, well, I'm gonna get hurt a bit. Well, there you go. The penis has been cleared. Oh shit, I said it. Um. Gasp. I don't know who just got shot. Oh, hi there. That's the guy I actually was looking for. Time to come home. I might actually heal him up. Or her. The Mongus Raider is pretty dead, yeah. I'm surprised the Raider Fox is still very much alive. Oi, you don't get to fight back. Come on. Stop resisting arrest. That's right. He stopped resisting. I'm actually surprised how close we can get there. There, just slightly overstunned. <laughs> uh, time to get shot in my face, right? Oh my god, I was being sarcastic when I said time to get shot in my face, but sure, you know what? Buddy, buddy. I am scared. I am very scared. Please, don't do this to me. Thank you. 
Ooh, that was terrifying actually in the end. Uh, ship engines leave AI plastic uh, in Illyrium. Nobody died, which is the real miracle here. Uh, we got 50 meter shells and 50 meter uh, millimeter cannon parts. That's cool. Yes, another 30 days in the Met Bay. That's very unfortunate about Pointy, uh, pointy Tornado. She's pretty good. Um, she kicks pretty hard ass. Auto gun. No about the auto gun. No about the auto rifle either. Boom fruit. Why not use Eagles instead of Black March for melee? Um, actually it was up until this mission that I realized that Confederate Eagles do like 40 penetrating damage, which I was very surprised about. I had no idea. That's pretty amazing. Uh, and I've actually been considering it at this point. That's why I don't want to sell the Eagle clips. I guess we can also hang on to the Confederate Eagle. Not as bad as I uh, originally thought it would have been. Yes, sister, that's true. Very true. I don't think. We can sell the smokes. Okay, here's the fun fact. I don't think we've gotten a pop-up about the Confederate Eagle whatsoever. It just kind of showed up. Same as with the other gun. Apparently we have researched the Autocon, I just... I... Don't know when. <laughs> uh... And then the other rifle has not been uh, researched. Very curious. I'll choke it up as technical malfunction on uh, my end. I do know they can be free researchers, but the pop-up still shows up. And that's the part that really gets me, like, I have not seen a pop-up. Alright, bullet back that super side striker, happy soft target, psycho. If an only to true psychopath when it comes to weapon choices, word for kills with things like machetes, cleavers, uh, maces, or axes. Or barbaric weapons as well as chainsaws, shotguns, flame throws, and cool for the weapons. We have nurse, patient, and veteran. I'm surprised nobody died there. That really did surprise me quite a bit. Blessings! A passing wasteland priestess offers you her blessings. Or how that was visited by a mysterious priestess. The locals described her as a wandering healer who passes the area every couple of years. Hasn't she passed by earlier? Uh, maybe I'm crazy. Giant rats! These mutated rodents have a famous talent for survival, intricate social structure, and a very sharp teeth. Cutting damage damages armor. Yep. Irrigation techniques? VIP kidnapping? Operation Triple A. Interrogate for what? Ooh, okay. Alright. Yeah, we got some Ponzer Fausts. Mm. Where's the Ponzer Faust? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's that's awful. I'm so terribly sorry about that. Um, mm hmm. Probably because I just put them on the craft. Go to bed. No. Too soon. Expedition reports and four strong boxes. Excellent. See, this is what the game does to me. It's slowly killing my brain cells. How awful isn't that? Somebody sent help. Not in a rush to get those javelins done, am I? Yep. 
cave hunt. No, that's not how you type cave hunt. Ah, cave hunt, right. Um, how many? How many again? Four. That will do the trick. Okay. Hmm. Only take four days. On average. Okay, yeah, Pointy Tornado is in the uh, med bay for 60 days. What are we? Are you hoping to get from a cave hunt again? Uh, chitin plates. And poison, animal poison would be nice as well, but I just kind of want to stop about chitin plates in case we need them for certain armors. I think last time around we got 10. I'm kind of aiming for 20. That should give me a little bit of flexibility. Chitin, my bad. Chitin. Hundred is the magic number, as they say. Gotcha, you bastard! No escaping now. Shoot them down. We're probably flying right on top of an ocean, aren't we? God damn! God damn! After I start uh, engaging, I'm like, oh, it's 50-50. Yeah, it turns out it's not just 50-50. I actually thought we were either here, but uh, I started second-guessing myself quite quickly. That's alright. These things happen. It happens uh, all the time. <laughs> it doesn't make it any better. That's unfortunate though. Very unfortunate. All right, we got bananas, a giant bone, a sermon book, old boot. Hey, old coins, we can turn those in. Old money briefcase, that's pretty good. Jewelry, mega scorpion carcasses, old earth books, orange pepper, and scrap metal. That's awful. Really awful. Let's just pretend it never happened, okay? Don't worry about it. Um, but what's in the briefcase, anyways? Well, we don't have the silver snake yet, that's surprising. Money pearls, ka ching! And there we go, alright. Uh, can I by any chance just research the briefcase? Yeah, I can. Cool. Look at all the research we have queued up. This is actually becoming pretty insane. Help the Lochnars, not again. Alright, Sky Ninja is sent by the evil Narlocks are making a rodeo in one of the Lochnars villages. I don't know if I actually have the crew for this. I don't. I 200% don't. I need to get the sick bay. Guess I can send the peasant. Guess I can send two peasants? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, three Loknars. <laughs> Where did you get this idea that we have three Loknars? Because we don't. 
Zero look Nars. Hey, yo, 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 let's go with barbarian outfits. I think my Lugners are actually hurt. Well, actually, we have one Lugnar. That's it. So, two Lugnars. Doop, doop. There we go. Yeah, this is this is actually uh, spiraling out of control awfully quickly. Gulp. I have a really bad feeling about this. Stranded government agent, ground zero. One of the provincial governments has lost a squad in this area during a false flag operation. Now cannot rescue their own men from the local bandits due to some cold plus but deniability. If we manage to clear the place out, it will pay us good rents for any agents we manage to recover. I think it's time to get some dogs. Yeah, yeah it is. The weather is warm, but we can deal with this. Alright, Operation Big Shoot is a go. What does that mean? I don't know. Big Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Walter Faust are a single fire weapon. We're not going to be using those. I need better armor for my Lognars. I probably need to uh, start working towards Slayer armor as well. Um, a Tommy Tom gun. That would be nice. Will the sub even penetrate? Most likely not. What about the Black March SMGs? What about the Confederate Eagle? But no, more importantly, what about the uh, Black March SMGs? Um, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess we can try. Don't tell me much about the UZ though. Where's the UZ at? Here it is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. a lot better. It would be fantastic if we could use the Confederate Eagle, but I'm afraid that the Confederate Eagle might not have the damage output, but damn, the piercing would be pretty sweet. Um, Lisa over here is going to be using the Confederate Eagle. She has 72 aim. Aim actually no 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 that's awful. Um We'll go with the original plan. We'll go with the original plan. Why can I not find the SMG to save my life? There we go. Ah We'll stick with the original plan of SMGs for days. Tommies, Tommies are gonna work. White eyed scavenger, she is going to be using the assault machine gun, which is 35 piercing. And a med kit, I suppose. Be better. Because it lingerie. Thank you very much. This really helps keep morale up. I find it very important. Isn't that berserker armor? That is berserker armor. Ah, which does give firing minus 10 and melee plus 1. Why did I go with berserker armor again? Oh, what was my reasoning behind it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hindsight it might have not been the best choice, but I'll take it. X and D, oh my god, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? 70 is pretty low though, 70 is pretty low. We'll see how this is going to end. Looks like uh, Ister is ready to step out for today though. That's unfortunate. Uh, Tommy versus the Black March. 
Isn't the Tommy uh, better than the Black March SMG? Sure as hell looks like it. 30 piercing, and this can shoot 3 times. What about armor effectiveness? Does that play a role? Doesn't look like it at least. I don't know, you tell me. Big hyena mounts, oh my. No, I, I think the Tommy is better. Tommy is better. They will come in handy right now. Yes, they will. Or Reaper mounts. Also willing to settle for those. I'm also willing to settle for... By the way, we're actually having the Black March S SMG on Lisa, because Lisa over here uh, can't carry a Tommy gun. Uh, but that's a side note. What was I gonna say again? Uh, building a map bay, sick bay, will help out quite significantly as well. Alright, anyways, everybody you're seeing here is going to die. Maybe Forsted might survive, maybe Bronze Hill might survive, but everybody else is dead. Just like that, we're immediately faced with a shotgun. Fucking game, I swear to fucking god. Alright, everybody, keep your heads down. Hope for the best. Oh, ho, ho, look at that! That looks adorable! Little best, it looks armored as all hell. Or maybe uh, he's already in a body bag, that's another possibility. Well, fingers crossed, let's not get shotgun to death. It's the blunderbuss I'm mostly worried about. Okay, so I heard a lot of our allies die, matter of fact. Oh, you little fucking piece of shit. Um, but that doesn't fill me with happiness. We, on the other hand, were very much still alive. Very small map. Aha! <laughs> ha. One down, 5,000 to go. Good feeling about this, but nobody ever. That's insane. How did she survive that? No, oh, I know how she survived that. <gasps> That's right. Stay down. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit more tricky. How the hell am I supposed to kill this guy? Gal. Well, she doesn't have a gun, so I don't need to worry too much about that. But she might have a grenade. That will be a bit unfortunate, won't it? There's kind of like the next problem. Um, I don't really see anybody. Bingo. I don't think I can go too aggressive on the offensive here, but I'll take it. 
know what to say. You only live once, better make a count. My gut is telling me I'm gonna have great regrets doing this. I'm gonna have very good, great, terrible regrets. So she does have a hand cannon. This thing does kick ass. I mean, whew, 44 piercing damage. That is very likely to penetrate some of my armor. That's alright. Don't. Don't, is there, you piece of son of a gun. How dare you. Please don't. Don't say its name, it might just appear. It would be fantastic to kill her, but the lockdown villager wants to keep her alive, apparently. Alright. There's three of them left on the map. One, two, three. Now, of course, I'm gonna have to pay a tax for these idiots. Which is quite unfortunate, uh, but such is life. I should have gone for full auto. this villager decided that she also has to have. Why are the villagers so peace-loving? And why am I having to pay a tax for their uh, peace-loving ways? Excuse me? Um... Oh yeah, asking for it. I can't bloody believe it. I can't bloody believe it. He didn't even melee her or anything. She's just like, eh, who cares? Not my problem anymore. Nerf on this guy. I should be hitting her. She's more dangerous than the shotgun lady. But I doubt we'll be able to hit her. There you go. Um, yes. Impressive shot. Alright, so one rum remains. Uh, now that we actually have better weapons, these missions do seem a bit more uh, doable. But I think we also got lucky that they didn't have actual dangerous weapons. Two. There's two left. Must be. That was not a shotgun. Yep. There you have it. Two of them. Ah, shit. Right over armor. Yet again. Two lucky hits will take it. You know what to say? You're lucky once, you might get lucky twice. They don't say that, I'm just saying that. Oh my god. But yet again, this is also a very dangerous gun for me to deal with. I don't know. Um, I need to get a break. That is how much? That is 56. Thanks, Forest Tits. Thanks a bunch.
Um, I kind of want to keep my Lochners in the back. Uh, there is no point for them to charge in at the moment. It's only going to get them killed, and I'm a bit cautious about it. Matter of fact, why don't one of you guys... No, 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 that's terrible. That's terrible. Why don't one of you guys actually pick up a bottle of vodka and see if you can actually save these uh, ninja gals so we can interrogate them later? It's highly unlikely they're going to survive for another turn, so who knows? Who knows? I know. They're not going to make it. Simple as that. I think the other Lognar might have bled out. Nope. Hey, that was my kill, you bastard. Uh, she bled out, the other one didn't, so... Let's just finish this mission and be done with it. Alright. Alright. No ammunition loaded, that's fair enough. And we're done. Bystanders killed by others. Eight. Bystanders survived. One. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I plead the fifth. I had nothing to do with it. Surprisingly enough, Forest Dits actually didn't gain anything there, and I think it's because she already has so many, um... That's associated with her. I'm not a big fan of this. Um, ooh, blunderbuss we keep. Dark bus can go. I think we have plenty of flint balls already, so I don't need more of them. Uh, the Sudoku blade can go because, well, we've already got quite a few of them. And other than that, I think that is uh, that's it. No more room in prison. Yeah. Like I said, we need to. Um, We need to do more interrogations. I'm too slow in the interrogations. Uh, by the way, can I buy Eagle Clips? I cannot buy Eagle Clips. Veteran and Trigger Happy. Well, it's a run of the mill mission. I don't mind that. Okay, next up we have Stranded Government Agents. By the way, nobody got damaged there, which is like the most significant part about it. I need to get medical supplies. I really do. One of the provincial governments has lost a squad in this area. Let's find them and kill them. I mean, capture them. Hey, we might actually be able to finally use a Tommy gun. Where's my Tommy gun? Tommy, Tommy, Tommy gun. I always love how weapon blind I am. There it is. Yes, we can use a Tommy gun. Barely, but we can. Okay, other than that, um. I think we will be doing pretty fine here. Lethal damage. I don't think I need an axe. We can stick with the dagger for now. But the axe is pretty good damage. That's fine. And it's a night mission. I kind of feel at home in this element. Um, I know I'll, I'll, I'll switch a lot back and forth between liking and hating uh, night missions, but right now I love them. Alright, we can't see anybody yet. But they did open 5,000 doors, so... Just gotta listen for the sound of doors. I don't think this had a door. This is 
closed. Alright, I don't see anything else. Let's make sure that we don't stack together. For ice uh, centered if we can. Baseball players? Really? Really? Okay. Well, baseball players are apparently a thing now. Oh, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Um. Yeah, so they are a thing. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. If they are all ballers, it should be melee only. They say melee only. I raised them rubber gun, rubber pellet shotguns, which of course are not loaded with rubber pellets. But that's besides the point. Not enough time units. Yeah, I assumed as much. Well, I say that, but honestly, only one person is going to be using them. Can't wait to get my uh, skull bashed in, though. That's a whole different story. Apparently we're gonna go on the high aggression mode already, that's nice. Um, so the really good news here is that I saw two of them move down here. And my flank seems to be pretty empty. That helps out quite significantly. Alright, um... Yeah, so what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? We played safe. That I think is plan number one. We played safe. Plan number two is we keep our distance. We try to avoid proking by having them get too close to us. And I don't think we need to shoot them. I don't think at least. I don't think, at least. And make sure we're always standing in the darkness. The darkness, my good old friend. Alright, so we can see three of them. Um, okay, Molotovs. That changes the game almost instantaneously. I kind of do want to kill Mr. Molotov. Good job, Lisa. And... Terrible job, Isdar. I knew it. I don't think that he'll be able to throw it at me over here. Uh, it should be severely ra uh, range limited. In theory, at least. We'll see how it turns out in practice. I think this is the guy that charged me over here. Right off his armor? That's cool. That's cool. I might actually need to go for heightened aggression, we'll see. We'll see.
Uh, one, two, three. Just gonna make sure they can't actually molotov me. Gotta keep my flank secured as well. I love how they're walking away from me. You can be serious. Come on, guys. Don't be such a coward. Guess we're gonna step out into the light then. It's like they're trying to lure me to this building. Aha, this is where we're keeping your precious uh, government agents. Why don't you follow us inside and uh, come over for some tea? Uh, to be honest, I would still fall for it, but that's besides the point. I'm quite gullible. <gasps> Can we all just appreciate this for a moment? This, this, ah, oh, this makes me feel pretty good. Now, if both of them were dead, that would be flashbacks to uh, my XCOM Files playthrough. But that's pretty cool. It's an actual fan with people sleeping. I can appreciate that. Alright, so obviously this is the guy that actually has to die. He is highly dangerous with his Molotov. Problem solved. Okay, and the rest should be captured if possible. Yeah, these are the last two left. Okay. That is not gonna be too bad. Okay, so the rubber base bullets are not penetrating their armor? That scares me. Oh, there we go. That was a daze. Non-lethal damage would be nice. Let's put that on the ground for now. Esther in the back. Lisa in the back. Time to get beaten on by uh, a baseball bat. I'm actually glad he was willing to jump down. It's a shame he took some um, some actual damage. I regret using the shotgun in hindsight. Um, it did not have the desired effect I wanted to have. Which is, it, it's not doing as much stun as I thought it would have. It could have. It should have. Yeah, what I definitely should have done is I should have just gone for full um, fire and forget mode here. What I should have done, full fire and forget mode. Yeah, that, no, that's, that's a terrible idea. Let's not do that. Ah, uh, well, you know what to say. Mistakes were made. Yeah, good enough. Maybe we can get one baller. Like, this is actually low balling it. Hey, uh, notice that some doors open and close. This is not the last guy on the map. Yeah, we're taking way too much damage. That's the part that I don't like about what's happening here.
Definitely not the last guy on the map. inside Oh, all the way in the back, really? Wasn't that something? You're the government agents, no, uh, no less. I will get them next turn. X really is a backup plan at this point. Always got to make sure there's nobody behind me. Ooh, two of them. We just shot. Damn. Come on, guys. Yeah, why that scavenger is gonna be out for a few days. Oh shit, he got back up. Oh shit, um... Gotta play it safe. Didn't notice him getting back up. That's right. Uh, we'll eliminate him next turn. That should be the last one on the map, and then we can deal with uh, that guy if need be. Don't even think we have to deal with him. Seriously? Damn it, bronze. Why do you have to be like that? Buddy, you made a big mistake. Now I'm gonna have to axe you. I guess I can also try to punch you, but it's probably gonna be an X. Oh my god. It's one of these days, I see. Sometimes I'm really disappointed with my soldiers. Uh, it's like they're not even trying. It's like they're not even willing to try. Alright, time to get beaten on, I suppose. Right now, four stits is gonna be out for like 10 to, uh, 10 to 20 days. Okay, guys, I'm seriously sick of this. If you can't do it, then I don't know. Shoot him. Thank you. Oh! That worried me quite a bit. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That is so damn unfortunate. We got two government agents. I guess we can research them for family ties, amongst other things. A lot of cocktails and Mr. Handy. And ballers. Slave and slave maid. <laughs> yeah, your prison cells are full. Five people. Damn. Five whole people. That's insane. Like, we gotta do something about this. Uh, shortage issue that we're having. Like half the people I'm capping, I can't even interrogate. And most of my brainers are, oh my god, they're worth quite a bit. Most of my brainers are just uh, tied up with other Marsac, other type of stuff, other type of research that I'm trying to get through. Eagle clip. Yeah, so disappointed by the shotgun. It's insane. 
Anyways, uh, yeah, that's just me rambling again. Don't worry about it. Uh, blip, blip, doo. I really expect to do a lot more damage. Uh, veteran, patient, mur murderer, and super shyest. Now let's see. If we were to go to our hands and we check out how long they're going to be out for. So four stits is out for eight days. That's not too shabby. Who was the other person that got hit quite a bit? White-eyed scavenger, which is 22, which is pretty painful. But you gotta make do, you know? You gotta make do. Electrics and electronics. And the software or code used by commercially available computers in real jungle takes a lot of braining to even begin to understand. No doubt there was a lot of malicious intent behind this. We'll need to obtain secret information from world communication networks to make progress there. For now, however, we can simply sidestep this whole mess by working directly on electric parts, slapping them together in various combinations and measuring what voltage goes where. Overcharged radar? Data mining? Flag tower? Wheat plantation? It's like, the more stuff I research, the more awesome stuff that seems to appear that we can't research because there's so much we gotta research. It just doesn't stop. It actually drives me a bit crazy. Rainer out. Rainer out a bit. What does this do? Security corridor? The flag tower is based fencers, so don't put them too far away from elevators and hangars. Yeah, I really regret building this extractor here. Uh, ba -ba -ba, what, the, what the hell is this? Security corridor, a simple four-way passer with a central chamber can be built to link outlying parts of a hideout to a piping and power grid that also grids off the sewers, making them impassable to enemies. It is equipped with a monitoring camera to build more corridors. We'll need to learn something about electrics and electronics. Oh, that's what was here, and I built... Well... So theoretically speaking, like having a row of security corridors would make sense. But at the same time, does it? I kind of want to demote this uh, extractor back to a security corridor and build the extractor somewhere else. I did not actually realize at the time that the grades of sewers. Uh... Shit. Well, right now is not the time to think about it. Time for a wheat base. No, no, it isn't. Because we still got to research. Wheat plantation. Which will take 20 days. But yeah, it is time for a second base. I was thinking having it partially be interceptors, partially be a plantation with some storage on the side. Then again, interception bases. Does that even make any fucking sense? No, it doesn't. We just need another pirate hideout. All wheat. Well, in that case, we'd uh, have to buy a hold it in the Netherlands, right? That that sounds adequate. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Just. My brain is processing this incredibly slowly. Yes, hideout, new hideout. One point one million. 
1.1 million. Oh my, okay. One point one million. Can we afford that? We could. We could very well afford that. Deficiency of two million. Beta of seven hundred K. Verge one point three. We're gonna be fine. Alright, let's build this. Let's go with weed them, yeah. Ah. And if we need to liquidate, we can liquidate. Look at this. That's a... Um, 215k, at least. Matter of fact, there's actually a few things I could... Well, that explains where my silver snake is. Alright, well, we'll take care of that in a second here as well. I think we should have... No. Yes, here we go. Uh, we have some jewelry laying around. I'm not actually sure if I want to keep that right now or research it or whatever. Golden Ank. That was the thing that I was planning on selling. Ooh, never mind. Forget the selling part. Did somebody say Bounty O'Clock? Because that's what I'm hearing. Bounty O'Clock. Let's do this. Let's speak about the devil. No. Oh. Never mind. We are probably missing some other prerequisition there. Prerequisite. <laughs> Slavery. Yes, it's a shady business, but you don't have to indulge in it. And these people are already slaves to the Star Gods anyways. Will you be a kind master to, uh a kinder master than them, Captain. The slavery option is available in the workshop and it permanently turns a prisoner into a slave. A slave is worth less money than a pristine hostage, but will generate monthly income and storage space through the power of human networking. He or she will also be relieved of their possessions, just like through robbery. Some people are mentally unfit to be used as slaves. They'd be more trouble than help. Well fun. Here we go. Death to slavery has begun. Um, Faust is high on my list of things I want to get. What else? Let's see. Organ traf uh, trafficking, trafficking, toppling the towers. The Mutant Alliance. No thanks, I'm good. Uh, wheat Plantation. Spy on the Ninjas needs to be done eventually. Uh, what else do we have? Just queuing a bunch of things up I want to get through. And it's a lot. It is really a lot. Oof. I don't even need two people on the Faust. It's 20 days. That is 20 days as well. Wheat plantation is going to be pretty important. Let's put the two people on it and spying on the spy ninjas. 15 days. Is there really nothing that... Yeah, sharp guy. 7 days. I'll take it. A slave. Academy nurse. Cash. Academy nurse. SQ. S. Oh, okay. I think the S determines how good they are. SQ stands for shit quality, obviously. Um, but no, small S's are worse than large S's, and I guess like an S with an upsend is even better than an S with an ad. 
I think this might be the best. S dollar sign. We'll see. Guild hostess. This little lady feels proud and empowered by her relatively important duties and the weapon training she received and thus will not back down that easily in a gunfight. In reality, she's just another exploited female as her duties are just various forms of serfdom, from making drinks to cleaning other people's messes to even more degrading tasks, even if none of them leave your hands dirty. At most, a bit sticky. Don't have more regrets shooting these than about any other corporate slaves. Diamonds. Diamonds are forever. Go playing the towers. The guild air sailor. These dudes in funny looking uniform aren't actually that harmless. Well, nowhere near as important as the engineers. They're trained pilots and technicians and are pretty well paid and will protect their ship with their lives. After all, losing it is going to make them have a lifelong depth. Um, it's going to make them lifelong depth slaves to the guild. Not the boys can be made into squires. The Corvair carries a high level leader of its faction, and that's the most important thing about it. Other than that, it's mostly harmless. That's cool. Nest Blight, that's cool. Old Money Briefcase, a pack laden with legendary green paper Dolaros. They're not accepted as currency anymore, but can be sold to the cultist of Dollar for religious use. <laughs> uh, that's good. Oh. Extreme weather. Our area was hit by extreme weather. The local population was in dire need of fuel, so we gave them some barrels. Now they're praising us as saviors. Hell yeah, you heard the guy. Another Redman cash. <laughs> Sounds to me like this is a job for Team Loknar. And dog. Oh boy. Oh man, we're gonna be running this with five people again. Seriously? Yowzers. My lockers are pretty hurt. With that, uh. I can't take a second attack, Togo? Really, you can only take one Togo. Only take one animal with you? Ugh. Oh great, now we're gonna be running it for four instead of five. I don't know if we should be doing this at this point. I think we're gonna be fine, but still. You know how quickly this can go south. Oh, we'll be fine, I'm sure of it. Oh boy. Um, they use the heavy weapon slot unless it's the named doggos. Interesting. Can't wait to die. <sighs> right. Alright, so this Redman might actually just put an end to Mr. Dogo right off the bat, and if that happens, then we're out of here. Star, come on. Should have gone for Aldo. Always go for Aldo. I'm actually highly concerned we're not going to be able to pull this off. Alright, now that I've given the full disclaimer, let's do this. I don't know, guys. 
guys, I don't know, I have a very bad feeling about this. Just get out of her. You, you can't say that, Esther. You can't say that. What's wrong with you? It's ogre. It's not ogre until it's ogre. No, that's not true. They might come close with melee weapons. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Silver's lost one. Uh, so the main problem is, if somebody with melee gets close to us, he, he can literally cut through two or three Lognars with no problem whatsoever. Otherwise, um, I would have been okay with it. It's just a shame that the attack dog got murdered straight off the bat. That was actually a main issue there. Scientific experiments. Now this is something we do gotta do. Expedition reports the Latin Empire, an old but recently grown po uh, power built on conquest, education, artistic flair and social inequality. After subjugating surrounding areas and repelling the deep ones, its eyes more and more often look to the north. The confederation might not be able to stand up to the might of the imperial legions, and they have so many slaves that could be used much more efficiently. Uh oh, that can be good. For them at least. Latin Empire. Roman Weebaboos. Shambler Hunt? Wow, that's actually really close. Alright, as much fun as it is, I think that's where I'm gonna wrap up for today. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'd, I'd like to uh, <laughs> be able to uh, get some sleep in. So that was it for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, hope to see you next time. And hopefully we'll be able to do some of those missions. And uh, send some more people to their graves. Either way, have a good one. Take care. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Oh man. <laughs>